And she came, she came home, and uh, she told me, because I, I say I want a shirt, you know. She's on vacation, you bring me a shirt. Yeah. Bring me a shirt back. That's what you do. She's like, you're going to love my shirt. And I'm like, that was a sarcastic remark, kid. I was like, fucking, I know it was. I'm like, I didn't know what was coming out. And uh, she's like, it's kind of ugly, but it's not. It's awesome. And I'm like, I don't know what this is. I don't know if it's going to be Hawaiian. I don't know if it's going to be like a pink tie dye. Yeah. Right. And then like when she came home yesterday, she opened it up and gave it to me. And I'm like, that's the most fucking dad shirt I've ever seen in my life. And I'm like, I'm going to do the most dad thing and wear it tomorrow to work. Yes. First day back, new Myrtle Beach shirt. Dad shirt. <laughs> Fucking classic. <laughs> Look at this. I was like, this is couldn't get any more than a fucking pair of jorts and new balance. Yep. I would I would have loved to see her face in the store when she was like, There it is. Oh my god. <laughs> fucking kids are riot. Absolute riot. It's a good time. Oh, that's great. I like it. It's good fitment. Everyone's like, gonna be fucking asking where they can get one. I would, I would love Myrtle Beach, North South Carolina, North Carolina, North Carolina. Or, no, or no, North Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. I, I couldn't read upside down. I'm a little dyslexic. It's okay, <laughs> Dad. <laughs> I I am a fucking hardcore dad now. Like really, really. I don't think there's there's any coming back for me. You know how you know how like a dad will cut off the sleeves and use the sleeve as like a headband. Yeah, something like this couldn't get any better. You've got a red, white, and blue two headbands that would be outstanding. Like, I want to know who designed the shirt. Like uh, their, their their concept behind it. They were like, yeah, we're gonna put fucking stars on one sleeve, stripes on the other. Dads are gonna love it. <laughs> I do. <laughs> I love it, dude. It looks great. She was dying. She was fucking losing her shit. Did she get uh did she get Hannah a tea? Uh, uh sure, she or? got her a coffee mug. There you go. Nice. Yeah, coffee mug mer- the, about mermaids or some shit mm-hmm. and about like hair and wearing no bra and all that stuff. They're girls. They're yeah, women. Girl stuff. Bitches. Yep. That's happening too. Yeah. Madeline's getting older. She's fucking five foot one now. Dude, I, I saw, I know, like a picture. Five foot one. Yeah, she's tall as fuck. Five foot one. Way taller than Kim. Yeah. Way taller than Hannah. Yeah, she's an inch taller than Hannah now. Oh wow. She ain't done grown. She's 12. Blowing my fucking mind. Then there's Emmy. Emmy's a brick shit house. Emmy shot the fuck up, too. She's still a munchkin. Because I saw, uh, I don't know, it was a, a video or a picture from, like, early summer. Oh, and she's still short as hell, and now she's three inches taller. She's tiny. Yeah, next standing next to like normal size kids. Yeah, she's tiny. Uh, we also found out that SJ is a fucking monster. He's oh, little, little deers. No. So we went to a, a, my neighbor's party. They had their kid at the same time we had ours. Yeah. Like maybe a week before. Yeah. They have a little tiny girl, beautiful, little furry, fuzzy, so cute, so soft looking. Also, they have, uh, like, darker skin. Mm-hmm. SJ looks like a fucking can of white paint. <laughs> 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 fucking kid. Looks like he had white paint dumped all over him. We're like, we were, like, next to him. This fucking kid is legitimately almost double the size. SJ. Their, of SJ's twice the size of their kid. Yeah. Their kid's, like, dark hair, dark skin, like, so soft and furry, and then SJ's just... Fucking tank. Yeah, white tank. as fuck. Head legitimately twice the size. <laughs> and I'm like, man, like we went for our checkup. He's in a 68th percentile for his, uh, for his, for his height. 35th percentile for weight. 56th or some shit for his head. And I'm like, so you're telling me I have a tall, thin kid. That doesn't make any doesn't sense. doesn't add up. No, it doesn't <laughs> add up to shit. It doesn't make no sense. Fucking milkman. I don't know what it is. Wait, is there milkman anymore? Trying to think of, like, who would have had sex with her around here. Bell Township, but there then, might be a milkman. I don't, I don't know. know. UPS guy. Yeah, he's black. Oh. <laughs> we would know. I, I think I would have seen that one come out. <laughs> yeah. Like, ah, oh, there it is. <laughs> it's way too short to be Mike's kid, so I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh fuck. Well, yeah, we'll see. My uh, my sister and Kevin and my nephew are coming in this weekend. Oh, nice. Yeah, so we'll see. I haven't seen him since I was back home. Yeah, he's a couple. What are they? Two weeks. Two or three weeks in front of us. Two, yeah. Yeah. So, SJ. Yeah, I'll see how big he is. Yeah. How about the name Bridger being common? Very common. I feel like an asshole now because everybody's like Bridger's like a common name out west, and I'm like, okay, so there's a lot of like rugged looking. Dark khaki jean wearing like tough cowboy motherfuckers named Bridger. Sick name. Cool name. Did Bridger you, Montana. That kid's name was Bridger. That saved his sister. For the, the, the yeah. How about his that name was shit? Bridger. Fucking crazy. Yeah. We were just talking about it and then that popped up. Yeah. Wild. He had fucking Captain America and Tony Stark sending him messages. Did you see the videos they sent? So cool. I would I would shit if they sent that to me. You sent that to me now as an adult, I'd be pumped. I'm so glad. Like. I'm so glad Captain America said he was like Captain America. Yeah, he would, is. I, I wouldn't have want to heard from Chris Evans. No. I wanted to hear from Captain America. Because uh, Robert Downey Jr. is like, hey, this is Robert Downey Jr. Should have said Iron Man. Fucking Tony right Stark. you should have. Yeah, definitely should have. bitch. Role play, motherfucker. You're an know. actor. Get in it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, kid. That's pretty wild shit about that kid. Yeah. That means that like uh, the like the parenting skills that are involved with the, with those parents of like teaching them, teaching their children about like being a sheepdog, pretty much. That yeah. mentality is in that family. Oh yeah. Not only Strong. did they put it in there, but that kid had that somehow like come across his mind. He didn't even think twice. That's what I mean. You you don't have time to think twice about it. You just do it. That's pretty crazy shit. Mm -hmm. Wow, it all fucked up. Man, imagine being a girlfriend trying to fucking, you piss, like, now that, like, as they get older, they get older, he's like 16 years old, 17 years old, and some little filly goes and breaks his heart. That sister might fucking beat the shit out of that poor girl. Oh, for sure. That sister would be like, nope. Mm -mm. Oh, yeah, she's protecting him, Forever. his heart, <laughs> yeah. for the rest of his life. <laughs> yep. For sure. Oh, man. Well, what a good morning. Let's get it started. Good morning, good morning, everybody. Welcome to the HWMF Podcast. I'm your host, Seth Ferozzi, here with my heterosexual life mate, Bob. Hello. And our esteemed, distinguished, large cock having, handsome, handsome IT specializationer, Shane. Hi. What's up, dude? What's up? Hey. Hey. Hey, what's up? Hey. What's up, bro? <laughs> um, I'm doing it. You can't see me. That's our new thing. Yeah. Oh, yeah? Yeah, me and him. The horns. Yeah. But homes. only when we got backwards hats. Oh, yeah. Did you guys touch tips yet? Nope. Not yet. Get close? Thinking about it. Pretty close. There you go. Mm -hmm. Like yeah. magnets. Tractor beams. Yep. <laughs> yep. Hey, you should do it right, right, in. In. right in front of Kim. We should just... <laughs> yeah, she'd be like, hey, whatever. Reckon that's why you get your ass kicked around here. <laughs> 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 oh, man. Well, good morning, everybody. I hope you're all having a fucking stupendous day. Spectacular. Scrum diddly umptious. Having good snacks. Working hard. Love and life. Uh, uh, we have been having some insane traction with this podcast lately. Yes. Tons of fucking messages, tons of new downloads. It's been awesome. I can't thank everybody enough for the support that we have with this podcast. I'm glad that you all enjoy everything that we do on here and make it a part of your day. Make it exciting. Spread the love. Ask the questions to everybody. I mean, job sites, all the good stuff, even though social distancing and all that shit's going on, but I'm just, uh, n n nothing is better than hearing great messages from everybody about how you're spreading this podcast, about how you're doing better in your life, working hard, buying new shit, uh, house, we've seen fucking houses, vehicles, camps, everything that people work hard, work so hard for in their life, they are showing it and they're very proud of it and everybody should be very proud of it. People are def definitely appreciating their lives right now. I, uh, with everybody that comes in contact with this podcast, everybody's connecting with something and that's it right there. Be proud of how hard you work. Yeah. Don't let anybody take anything away from you. No matter what you do in life, if you're a fucking high-powered lawyer or a fucking uh, or a maintenance guy at a mill, whatever you are doing, you better be working your ass off. And anything that you purchase, anything that you work hard for, and have, take a lot of pride in it. You fucking deserve it. I know. I mean, I couldn't. I couldn't. I couldn't be more proud to see everybody and the support in the Facebook group because we see a lot of it there. Yeah. And how excited other people are for them when they do these things well yeah it's nice that they have a place that they can do, go do like post these things because i mean you know how it is posting something around 
oh, family and starts criticizing this and that. Must be nice. Go oh, fuck yourself. About the worst thing you can fucking say to Don't me. Don't fucking say must be nice to me. <clears throat> but it's awesome that they have this group that they can go to, share it. Everyone's so positive. Absolutely. Getting a new tattoo, buying a new house, getting a fucking boat. Dude bought a huge fucking boat last he week. He went a little overboard. <laughs> Good for him. <laughs> Not Bob. And Bob said, nope, let's do it even better. <laughs> No, it's uh, w- w- if anybody doesn't know, we have uh, we have the fa- Axe and Sledge Facebook group, but then we also have a group called the Demo Crew. The Demo Crew is our affiliate program with Axe and Sledge Supplements, um, <clears throat> and it's more. Whenever we first started the whole thing, we wanted it to be done right, where it to be a place of community, family, and people to appreciate the hard work that everybody does in their life, and to push exactly what we do on this podcast every single time we do it, and what we push every single day in our lives. Being a good motherfucker, working really hard, because in life, you know, everybody has to go to work, and and you have the choice of how much or how little you want to work. And for me, I really want to work a lot. I like it. I get a I get a feeling whenever I work really hard that I don't, if I don't work. So therefore, I know that I like to do it, whether it be from a physical aspect of lifting weights, or whether it be a family aspect of spending time with my kids, or here in this fucking building. I love it. So I like to do a lot of it. Um, and in that group, in the demo crew, it's a community where people are just excited to see people put their, their work, their process, and their rewards yeah. for everyone to see them. Yeah, I mean, from the get-go, we wanted the demo crew to be more than just uh, a run-of-the-mill affiliate program. No. Because these type of programs, it's very easy for them to be automated. and. Yeah. From the beginning, we wanted it to be a very hands-on, personal experience for anyone that was signing up for this. And when we were doing so, we were like, this is going to be extremely difficult to stay ahead and to, and to, to, to make sure everyone feels part of a it. part of it. Absolutely. And, uh, you know, with Carly and Dean, uh, the elite demo crew members, everyone else here at the company that chimes in on questions. Yep. I mean... Uh, it, it has exceeded what we thought it was going to be. And it's growing rapidly. Yeah. Like, that's why we're bringing more people on to this, act- this team to do these things, because the people feel the shit. Yep. And we see it, and that's why we're talking about it right now, because it's everywhere. It's awesome. Yeah. Especially at a time whenever there's so much negativity and there's so much bullshit. Uh, it's great because there, you still have to go about your life and work hard. You still have to provide for your family. Mm-hmm. And through, and if you are somebody that's facing adversity now, or you are going through some relationship battles, or you're going through some really ugly shit, just keep working. Yep. Keep fucking going. You have to. Do not stop. Because if you stop, you're going to put yourself into a place that's not going to be good. For sure. We've both been through it. Yep. Everybody goes through it. When you go through it, if you fucking stop, you're going to be in trouble. Mm-hmm. So uh, this weekend, I spent a lot of time uh, in the evenings scrolling through and talking to people. Yeah. All the, they answered a ton of DMs. I haven't done that in a while, and uh, it was awesome. Mm-hmm. I have, there's fucking tons of them. I know you get a lot now, too. It's that out of control. This weekend especially was really intense. Yeah? I don't know what it was like specifically. Yesterday was out of control. As soon as I asked everyone for music choices mm. when I was on my ride, how'd that go? I got about 350 fucking DMs in like eight <laughs> minutes. I'm like, what the fuck? It's like they were all waiting to oh, be yeah. asked. The one dude though shared his Apple Music playlist with me. Oh, nice! It's like a hundred plus songs. Pretty of- good. <laughs> Dude, it's awesome. <laughs> it's everything. It's like 70s, 80s, 90s, nice. early 2000s rap and hip hop. Fucking right. To like country. It's it's like you just hit shuffle and you let it fucking go. Man, I'm going to have to steal that from you. It's really fucking, fucking good. Share it with me. Yeah, I'll figure out how to, so I can listen to it. I don't know any of that. But well, Yeah, they were schooling me on, on how this is done. Like they're sharing their personal uh, Spotify playlist, their Apple Music playlist with me. So that's what like, people ask me for that I don't have and dude, I don't know what's it, going on. We're going to figure mm-hmm. it out this week because it's mm, really cool. To, it's really cool. Yeah, I like Fuck. it. Yep. So behind the times. I thought I was ahead. I thought I'm behind. Way behind. <laughs> <laughs> kind of focused on just something else. I don't know. Oh, man. Man, I'm, I'm all fired up this morning. I like it. I'm having fun. I slept last night. Ah, oh, good job. Yeah. I guess I got a little bit of sleep, too. Uh-huh. Felt good. Yeah. <laughs> I slept. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking ridiculous. <laughs> oh, man. I know the kids came home, so that was cool. They were on vacation with my parents. Uh, they went down to Myrtle Beach. Um, 
I missed them like crazy. Missed my fucking kids so much. Yeah. Uh, they are, they're a handful. They are a riot. Like, that's why I said I don't, the dad thing in me is fucking ingrained. Mm -hmm. Like, it's, I don't know how not to be cool dad. I don't know how to be like, how do I say, like, you two don't have kids. So, like, whenever I go somewhere, I'm not like cool Seth, not dad. Like, even whenever I go somewhere, people would probably be still able to figure out and be like, yeah, this dude's a dad. <laughs> he definitely has multiple kids. <laughs> yeah. He wears fucking cargo shorts, New Balance. <laughs> like, yeah, dude, for sure. Like, there's no way you won't be able to, like, it's not coming out of me anymore. Yeah, for sure. Um, no, I, I, it's, it's a fucking riot. I was dying. <laughs> I saw a cargo short meme, and I, and I didn't screenshot it. Oh, that's what I wanted to buy this morning. I was doing cardio. I woke up super early, hung out with SJ for a minute, got him back to sleep. And then I was on doing cardio, fucking pumping away. And I'm like, man, I wanted to buy something on Amazon. What was it? I wanted to get new Under Armour shorts. The mm. golf shorts, I need to buy more. Yeah. 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 I got so much. I, Hannah and I, we went, uh, uh, bought a ton of furniture at, at 3D Auction. You know, nice. Levin's out of business. Yeah. No one's fucking open around here. We went to 3D Auction, wide open. Uh, we got the whole kid's room set up. We got him a couch, table. Fucking, what's it called? TV stand. Yeah. New bedroom set and new stools. Nice. Spent a ton of money. They liked me. They were happy I came. At 380. Yeah, three. Oh, fuck yeah. Yeah. They're like, you just call us when you're ready. Come pick it up. I'm like, you got it. Right. Yeah, I didn't have, I got to take the box truck down and get it. Yeah, right on. Mm hmm. I got a couple things there. Yeah, yeah, nice. I mean, everywhere else is fucking closed and I'm not buying anything on Wayfair. <laughs> Only fucking kids showing up thinking I'm a pedophile. But that's another story. <laughs> Fucking Wayfair. <laughs> I saw the, that's another thing that's out of hand is all the memes about it. And it's like, man, like, that's, that's the only thing that strikes a chord with me. It's the only thing. Yeah. I'm cool. I'm cool. Like, I don't know. I'm not really cool with a whole lot. But that fucking shit, that shit's too far for me. It's a lot. I'd have no remorse. I have no remorse for them. Mm. Like, I posted that thing. About like how people like the normal normalizing it and people saying like on the, I post in my stories, I'm like, motherfucker, like pedophilia is not like a sexual preference. No. No. Fuck no. No. You told me that with my fucking with a ten year old, fucking six year old, twelve year old. Fuck you. I'm slitting your throat. Yep. I'll watch you bleed out and I won't fucking, I won't fucking feel one ounce of pain. Uh. -uh. No go for me. No. Why can't you just go buy a hooker? They need work, too. Go buy a hooker. She's 21. Go to Vegas. You could go... You can buy a hooker. Just go do Vegas stuff, man. Yeah, go Get do the Vegas fuck stuff. out of here. I mean, why, who doesn't think that's fun? You can go buy a ton of cocaine, dump it all over her, do all of it, go to the casino, spend all your money, come home broke, and say, I had a blast. Mm -hmm. And it's not all legal, but some of it was. Most of it's not coming home with you. Yeah. I don't get it. I mean, that's pretty fucked up. Cocaine, hookers, Vegas. There's a legitimately a fucking place that says, please come here and do the most wild, fucked up shit. And we won't say anything. DGENs. <laughs> that's what <laughs> Vegas is? I don't fuck with the fuck. Bunch of DGENs. I love Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> Big DJ <laughs> DJ convention this weekend in Vegas. <laughs> oh my god! Fuck. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. So we got uh, cool new stuff at the house. Sweet. Yeah, we're gonna be putting it putting it all together, and then I get new carpet. Uh, one of the a listener, uh, he recommended a carpet guy in the area. Carpet guy came over. We got a carpet guy. Nice. Stupid great guy. Yeah. He, uh, it, it was crazy because um, it's a very nice home. It's big, and then we're talking, and he's like, uh, he's like, so what do you do? I'm like, oh, I own a supplement company and apparel business. And he's like, cool. That shirt? I had an AAR shirt on. Mm -hmm. And I was like, yeah, this one. He's like, it's a pretty cool logo. <laughs> I'm like, okay, here it comes. I got to tell him all about it. Yeah. So I told him all about the company, and he's like, so me. I'm like. Yes, yes, you. You are my target audience. Yep. He's like, 
but I don't work out. And I'm like, no, but you work hard, don't you? And he's like, yeah. He's like, I think I want a shirt. <laughs> I'm like, I'll bring you a shirt, bro. Because <laughs> uh, he's, uh, he's, he owns a flooring company. Mm-hmm. Him and he has a couple helpers. And his thing was uh, a little less than a year ago, probably about 10 months ago, he said that he went to his boss and he said, hey, dude, he's like, uh, now with my family, he, and he works hard for this dude, has been with him forever, and he's like, I'm working 10 to 12-hour days. He's like, can we put a schedule together where on Fridays I can work until like 2 o'clock, and, um, and then I can take my kids to camp in the summertime and do all the fun things he wants to, because he's working 10 to 12 hours a day, and he's like, this is what I'd like to do. Yeah. And he's like, he told me no fucking way. So the next day, I came, I talked, went home, talked with my wife. The next day, I came in and I quit. I was like, get the fuck out of here. And he's like, yeah, dude. He says, I told him what I wanted to do. And he said, no, so I quit. And I was like, so what'd you do the next day? He's like, started my own fucking company. I was like, bro, so you went all in. He's like, yep, spent a ton of money making sure I had all the things I needed to do. And I just fucking went right to work. And he's like, and now? He's like, now that COVID hit and people were weird, he's like, I know the dollar amount that I need to make. He's like, I make that. I exceed that. Every Friday, I leave and I take my family to camp. He's like, so I take a three-day weekend with my family, come home, and I don't stop working from Monday to Thursday evening, nonstop. And he's like, and then whenever, the, whenever camp's done for the summer, he's like, I go back to work all year. I'm like, bro, that right there was exactly Computer what we stumps. pushed for. Yeah. That's exactly what we tell people. Work for the great things that you want in life. And if you don't like the scenario that you're in, change it. Yeah. So the dude legitimately changed it and went after everything he wanted. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and we were talking about financial freedom. And he's like, Abs- absolutely what I want in life. Mm-hmm. He's like, I don't need to drive extravagant cars. And I don't need to do all this extravagant shit. He's like, I know what I want. And I know how I want to raise my family. I know how I want to run my business. And I know the customer cl- customers that I want to work with. Yeah. I'm like, well, just so you know, you're probably going to get some business from us. Yeah. I was like, we got a flooring guy now. And he looked at me and I'm like, I need carpet. I was like, I'm going to need flooring down the basement. I was like, my bi- one of my business partners probably needs some new carpet or a floor somewhere at some point. I was See, like, and then we're going to continue to spread. And he's like, yeah. And I'm like, yes. That's how we do things. I was like. Do a good job. Gave so you, me a great price. So you do more than carpet? Like, oh, yeah. Like all flooring. Hardwood floors? All flooring. Anything. Any, that was his thing. It's good He's to know. really good at it. Mm-hmm. And that was his reasoning that he wanted to have his openings, and then it didn't happen the way he wanted it, yeah. which is understandable from the owner's perspective as well. Mm-hmm. You know, to be like, no, you, no. But at the same time, you had to fucking take that risk. Knows what he wants, man. And he spent a lot of money getting it because he had to have a truck. He had yeah. to have all the equipment, all, all the, the tools. tools, all the insurances, yep. you name it. He's yep. in people's houses. Yep. Like, that's a lot. All the insurance. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. That's a lot, dude. Yep. Did, didn't give a fuck. I, th- I think I found a, a concrete guy. Ooh. Yeah. Nice. I, I, and I found the, the walkway I want to do. Mm. It's fucking sick. I, I said I didn't want to do like a stamped concrete. Yeah. I'm doing a stamped concrete yeah. for fucking sure. Yeah. This, bro, this thing is sick. I got to pull it up. I know I had Mike, uh, my, my dad's right-hand man, and his son, Brett. Brett yeah. concrete. He's going to come seal everything at the house. Yeah, dude, this thing. Uh, I hope I can find. Yeah. This is what I want. Oh, yeah. Yeah, dude. Fuck yeah. But local company, uh, a couple of our friends here follow this company as well. They do big projects, too, like pools and stuff. Yeah. But uh, yeah, great reviews. Yeah. It even says, like, no job too big or too small. Yeah. I'm like, this is what I fucking want. Yeah, stamp concrete's sick. Yeah. Uh, the only thing that uh, they said when they seal it, there's this, like, super slippery. Super slippery. Yeah. And then you could put, like, this. There's a grippy thing that you can add to it that some people say works, some people say doesn't. Yeah. And you can add sand to it to add a little bit more uh, texture to it and all this. Right. He said use the grippy stuff. Because Mike has his pool. Uh, Mike's pool doesn't have he has the stamped concrete around it yeah. and didn't use the grippy stuff he added sand and uh, and he said didn't fucking work it's slippery as shit <laughs> he's like yeah you, you can eat shit because you're yeah. around the fucking pool yeah right it gets wet gets slippery yeah. and you don't scrape on it use your big backpack blower it right sweeps. it will take the, the coat off right or or you could just spend the extra money and make it heated put coils through it because you have free gas <laughs> right there it is right there 
Fuck. What's the upcharge? Like five grand? If it's five grand, that means you never have to worry about snow ever again. I never shoveled that yet. <laughs> oh, that's true. You, yeah, I don't give a fuck. We're the country, dude. Yeah, fuck it. That's why you got boots. I just got to go for the front door to my fucking truck step. I'm yeah. good. <laughs> I'm good. I'll walk through the yard. Oh, shit. But yeah, that's cool. Fuck yeah. Shane. Hey. What's up? Nothing. Did you buy a, new, did you buy a car yet? I did. Shane bought a car. Shane bought a car. So, Shane, we've been talking about this on a podcast here for a minute. Shane has been in debate about getting a vehicle. Doesn't know what he wants to do back and forth. You're way more indecisive and worse than me. But I'm pretty fucking bad lately. I also have a story about some about what I just found out. Should I do that before you yeah, talk about your vehicle? Yeah, you want to talk about your vehicle? You might as well do the story real quick. Real quick. Yeah. yeah. It's going to turn out to be 20 minutes. But, <laughs> <laughs> so, the Wrangler. Yeah. Uh, really, really cool vehicle, right? Fucking. Bro, they're awesome. I had no idea how much people spend on a Jeep Wrangler. I've never researched Jeep Wranglers because I don't need one. Yeah. But everybody's here to hear me talk about Broncos. Yep. I'm an old Bronco. I don't have time to fix an old Bronco or if something goes wrong. I'm not too mechanically inclined. Mm-hmm. That's why I stick to newer vehicles. I can change oil, tires, brakes, rotors, all that. But I can't work engine, stuff like that. I'm not yeah. that guy. Fuck no. The Wrangler. You can buy a Jeep Wrangler for like 60 fucking Gs. 60 Gs for a Jeep Wrangler. Like yeah. an unlimited nice Jeep Wrangler. Fuck yeah. All done up. You know, all that shit. I saw ones for 68. I saw one brand new. Yeah. And then... Looked for used. I was like, well, maybe used because I've been talking about wanting a convertible. And I'm like, ah, you know, don't need a convertible. But maybe it'd be nice to look at a Jeep. Saw somebody driving a Jeep. I was like, cool. I've never looked into them. Never. Mm -hmm. Use Jeep. Use Rubicon. 2018. 50 grand. (laughs) 15,000 miles. 48 thousand dollars. Yeah, dude. I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. Are you fucking kidding me? So, I didn't know these things. I just, I'm on the YouTube a lot. I watch a lot of car videos. The 2021 Ford Broncos that just came out are fucking ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Fucking ridiculous. They, Ford said there is a large market in the Jeep Wrangler market that that no one touches. There's no one that touches it. They came to fucking compete. That Ford Bronco is cool as fuck. Pretty fucking sick. It is nasty. It's nasty. As soon as I saw it with the doors off, it fucking sold me. It, 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 comes, it comes with 35s on it. You could buy it with 35s on it. Like it fucking it. should. Like it should. Like the like, Wrangler fucking yeah. should. They said, and I was watching this thing, you can take that fucking Bronco apart so easily. It was wild. And I'm like, this fucking thing is awesome and then from a technological standpoint with all the differentials and the fucking suspension and uh and the four-wheel drive the in all-wheel drive everything like wrangler's gonna have to step their fucking game up yep drastically mm-hmm. way fucking cooler well everyone's gonna realize that wrangler is literally charging what they do just because they can because they can it's the only fucking ride like it on the Ford road Ford came to take that market yep Nobody was touching that market because Wranglers are cool. Mm-hmm. I saw somebody driving them. I'm like, hey, this would be so much fun to have. Bro, they're really nice. Be really cool. That's why I wanted the Bronco. Take the top, take the back thing off and have like a, a fucking just a cool vehicle. But it's like no matter what, if you buy a brand new Wrangler or you bought like a 10, 12-year-old Wrangler, you're dumping money into it. For sure. Because like you buy an old Wrangler, you're going to lift it. You can put wheels and tires on it. You're going to do all your shit to it. Well, you once buy a brand they say new once one. you're a Jeep person, you're always a Jeep person. Yeah. Not anymore. Yeah. But there's a lot of Jeep people that are like, I think I might want to try one of those. A good gauge will be asking my brother-in-law, Kevin. Oh, okay. He's the biggest Jeep guy I've ever met in my oh, entire... Oh, is he a Jeep guy? Oh, dude. Huge. He's had six Wranglers. Oh, shit. Yeah, just Wranglers. Man. One of them was the nicest fucking Rubicon I've ever seen. Oh, I, you know what? The I really remember. nice blue. Like in, what was it, 2012? Yeah, back 2011, something back like with, that. Back with uh, Dave yeah. and shit. Yeah, that's when I fell in love with Jeep and like camping and off roading and dirt bikes. That when I first met Kevin, and uh, but 
at the time I was like, oh, Rubicon Wrangler, Jeep. It's yeah. like a big ATV. It's like probably 30 grand. No. And he's like, oh, dude, that's all done up. That's 65 to 70 grand. I couldn't believe it. Because he had it lifted, had the wheels and tires. I didn't and know. I had no idea. Yeah. Because at Victory right up the road here, I need to get new tires and shit on the truck. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to go put new tires on it and see if they'll let me take the Wrangler for a day. Be like, hey, I purchased four vehicles from you guys. Yeah. Can I take this for the day to test drive it? They definitely will let you. I wonder if they will. Yeah. I think we should find out. Or they're so scarce right now. They're like, we really don't have one well, for you to. Bro, I just saw. <laughs> did you see the two-tone 3500, the dually? Yeah. Really cool, right? Yeah. With the white and gray. Yeah, the white and gray. There was a, there was a, uh, there was a truck next to it when we left on whenever I drove past on Saturday. It's no longer there. Yeah. Sold another big fucking giant truck. They're selling I, vehicles like crazy. I'm really into the duallys right now. I've always wanted a dually. I just have no re- I have no purpose for it. I, Maybe I, if I buy a boat one day, yeah. I'll just like drive around town with it, watch a movie, pull my boat. I've been. Tell everybody about I'm the really boat capacity. into. Uh, I'm really into Yellowstone, right? <laughs> and every single cowboy on the show has a sick ass ram. And oh, we, they all, they drive rams. <laughs> every there's only rams in this Man, show. Man, ram sponsored Fuck, fucking Yellowstone. Yeah, they sponsored the shit out of it. Spent some money. And there's no Fords. Bro, Kevin Costner drives an all done up black dually. Black like, one. So fucking cool. Has Yellowstone on the door. I'm like, I just feel like I need one of those. <laughs> I don't know where it's going to fit. It's not going to fit anywhere. It's no. wider than my driveway. Yes. <laughs> I love duallys. I fucking love them. I've always wanted one. Yeah. Always wanted one. I just have no need for one. And I don't plan on buying a fifth wheel um, or really having to pull anything. No, I mean. They're just cool to have. Just cool. Yeah, fuck yeah. I mm-hmm. wouldn't get rid of mine for it, though. <laughs> I keep mine. I, I love my truck. Like and Kim loves my truck. Like, she always yeah. says that. Like, that's a yeah. reason to keep it alone. Uh, yeah, I love my truck. Yeah. Yeah, it's a fucking animal. <sighs> Beat the shit out of that thing. It's made for work. Mm-hmm. Yep. So. Well, n- enough about us. <laughs> enough, about, enough about us. How about on to you, Shane? No, uh, so, you, Mr. Indecisive, and you, as you can see, I just found out about Jeeps, and I'm, uh, I think, I, I'm, I'm so indecisive that I couldn't pre-order a Bronco. I don't want to pre-order. I want to see them. Mm-hmm. However, I think the ones that are fucking here, they're going to go. Yeah. I think the standing price on them, you won't be able to be like, hey, can you knock a couple grand off that? No, bud. Somebody's going to come in and buy this fucking thing in 20 minutes. Yeah, my buddy reserved one. So, like, I, you, you need to reserve them now if you, if you want one. I don't know. Like, there's cool, like, this marine gray color on the inside of the one Bronco I was watching. Bro, it was fucking sick. Yeah. Sick. I did a good job with those. The fucking thing is cool as shit. Mm-hmm. I'm pumped. Like, what do they start at? I have no fucking clue. I didn't even look at the price. Whatever I think it like is, thirty four or something. What? There's no. Yeah, there's no way it's more than fucking Wrangler. The base is thirty four. See, I my my biggest fear is, and this is a big fear of everybody, is the kinks. If yeah. there's no kinks or hiccups or any fuck ups, huge fuck ups within the Bronco, they're gonna they're gonna take a large chunk of Wrangler. That's why that person sent that video to me. On Facebook group, yeah, they're talking about it, and there was that scene from Valkyrie with Hitler. Yeah, he's oh, like, yeah. Ah, yeah, yeah. he's speaking German Nine. and fucking, and then they they subtitle over, like it was like Hitler was Wrangler, and like talking about, he's like, release the Hemi concept <laughs> of the Jeep Wrangler. Yeah, nobody told him about Bronco. All this was funny, mm-hmm. but um, yeah. So, Mister. So you, Eels. so you went full oh, circle here, Shane. Almost, you went. Yeah, you were going Tesla. Mm-hmm. Went and looked at Jaguar. Yep. Back to Tesla. Mm-hmm. BMW. BMW. Might Volvo. Have been, might have, Volvo. Range Rover. Range, Range Rover. Rover. Where'd you circle back to, or did you go completely so off the, the page? I know this was me. I like Mercedes. I love them. That was a question. Why don't you go look at a Mercedes? No, I don't like Mercedes. So what'd you buy, Shane? <laughs> I bought a Mercedes. <laughs> <laughs> I got a Mercedes GLC 300 uh, AMG ride. line. Nice. Yeah. yeah. Nice. It's yeah. awesome. Yeah. What color? Black. What color interior? Black. Fucking right. Bob likes it. I love it. I, I love the interiors of the Mercedes. They are just absolutely spectacular. Um... I tell you what, and where'd you, where'd you buy it, Shane? Mercedes Pittsburgh, same place you got yours. Bobby Ray Hall. Bob, yep. 
Is that, are they Bobby Ray Isn't Hall? Isn't that Baby Ray, Ray Hall? I don't know if they're Bobby Ray Hall they are. or not. Is Bobby it? Ray Hall, yeah. Almost positive, yeah. Of, yeah. But uh, Brent was your salesman. Yep. Uh, Brent sold three AMGs <laughs> in one day. <laughs> Whenever we came in, the, whenever we went there. So yeah. this cocksucker better be giving you a fucking hell of a deal. So text him and be like, so that's great. That's great. I'm, I'm, I'm glad you took care of Shane and waived the delivery fee. And delivered it early at and the facility he here. Said you, he said seven days, so we'll expect it on Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> and a coffee mug. And, and two coffee mugs, keychain, and a t-shirt. I'll take a hat. And a hat. Bob wants another hat. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god so did did you drive the model that they're bringing in or you drove something similar i drove something similar yeah yeah um it's not the amg engine it's just the normal 300 um but the amg package like the package, AMG package like the, the exterior interior. looks like it yeah. interior yeah so uh i'll say this uh han and i were looking at family vehicles as well right now we went up to the one, uh, the Mercedes dealer right up the road here, Bud's uh, Mail. Bud's Mail, yeah. yeah. Uh, and then we went over and looked at, talked to the, you can't get an Escalade right now. No. You, you can't even order them. The 2021s, can't even order them. Uh, but anyway, that dealership down there, Brent was his name at, uh, I don't know if that's Bobby Ray It Hall is or not. Bobby Ray Hall. It is. Yep. Positive. I still want to give him credit if he doesn't deserve it. <laughs> it's. It's Mercedes of Pittsburgh, I believe. Yeah, I'm looking it up. It's Bobby Rahal. He's it, wearing a polo. Yeah, it is. Is that what it yeah, was? Okay, it cool. Then we'll keep going with that. I'm glad. Right. I, I know if we're going to take your advice for it right now. <laughs> but yeah. Brent down there, outstanding fucking salesman. So we've had quite a few experiences with car dealers and dealerships. Um, I will say that that motherfucker was by far the best most thorough, on top of his shit salesman we have dealt with. Agreed. That fucking dude, whenever we went in there to look at Mercedes, like, their AMG floor is like, it's a floor. It's not on ground level. No, you got to take an elevator. You got to take an elevator to get there, like, an, and, like, the car has to go into an elevator to get down so you can take it out. Whenever we were talking about the vehicles, about the ones we liked, he said, yeah, let's keep take them for a ride. And I'm like, but we're up in the air. Mm-hmm. And he's like, yeah, we'll move a couple cars and put that thing right in the elevator. You can go rip. And I'm like, I'm like, no, no, it's no, okay. No, no, it's a, like, I don't want to. And he's like, oh, no, you got to drive it. you got to feel this thing. So this fucking dude <laughs> went and took both of the vehicles, two AMGs, down and got to drive them out mm-hmm. on fuck. Like, he was a spectacular salesman. He was so good. I didn't even have to drive mine, and no, he sold it to me. No, I drove both. <laughs> fucking dude is was awesome but yeah, that's the experience that you want and you want a good salesman because you went and talked to about seven different salesmen didn't really like any of them except him right yep, correct so do you think that him being such a good salesman helped sell you that vehicle yeah yeah for sure yeah i just like dealing with him as soon Did as i you walked feel in special? he was right there yep mm. mm-hmm. yep yep other places you didn't feel special no no even if the car was pretty nice but I hate, I hate when salesmen try to tell me what I need and I don't need. It's mm. like, no, I want. you got to fit me with what I want, not what I oh, need. Oh, man. Great point there. Fucking yeah. right. That's what I think. I want the I'm BMW. That dude pissed me off because the fucking dude was like, uh, he was like, uh, oh, do you need the bigger engine? I said, no, I fucking want the bigger engine. Yeah. Yeah. And then I left. I was like, no. Man, I don't that's, a ta- that's probably a tough sales tactic to use because like, they're like trying to figure out like, do you need this or want this or what is it? Yada, yada, yada. And yeah. it's probably tough, but yeah. I like, mean, I don't know if I was, it is a want. It is a want. Like when are you yeah. going to rip it a hundred miles an hour with the engine down 22 fucking. I, w- I want that. I want that. I'm not going to do it every day. Do I need to do it every <laughs> look day? At Bob, no. Look at Bob not to. said right now. He's like, yeah, I don't yeah. need Listen, to do Listen, I just spent like six weeks driving like a complete fucking vagina because I didn't know <laughs> if I was getting points or not. <laughs> Fuck yeah, you need a fast car. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> this thing rips. In, in sport mode plus, it fucking rips. Yeah, dude. I, I'm, I'm a big Mercedes fan. I think that the overall package of what they've become is awesome. Mm-hmm. Um, the technology. They, the new are AMGs are, 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 are top notch just because Mercedes is also a luxury vehicle. Yeah. Yep. They're luxury vehicles, and the AMG is luxury with performance. Mm-hmm. Um, and now... They finally broke into the performance with luxury, mm-hmm. is what they've become, these yep. new AMGs. 
like the new uh, like the new C63, all done up. And if you tune that bitch, it's a scary fucking vehicle. Yeah. The E63 competes with the M5 now. Like they are fucking animals. Mm-hmm. Animals. I love them. We uh so whenever Hannah and I went, we went to look at the GLS. Mm-hmm. They have the GLS 450, which is the seven seater. Yeah, really, really nice. Mm-hmm. Just a little smaller than what I personally want at that price range, mm-hmm. because it's like I we need the Tahoe Yukon Navigator Escalade, big vehicle with the three of us. And you need the seats and the storage. Yeah, and the storage isn't too much difference in the back because you need the XL. Like, to get the real storage. Mm-hmm. However, like, the headroom and footroom in the third row is really important because mm-hmm. we have Adeline, her friends. Like, if we go to a gymnastics meet or have an extra friend with us, yep. we need a fucking big vehicle. Car dude. seat, fucking baby bag, all the shit. All the shit, dude. We need a lot of room for everything. So that's why we've been looking um, and being indecisive right now, of course, about mm-hmm. it. Um, unfortunately, we have enough money to purchase the one that, we like the most, no matter if it's the most expensive or the least expensive. It's about functionality and what we personally want, which mm-hmm. is very nice. And availability. And av- yeah, <laughs> whatever's exactly. available right now. But that's some. So we went and looked at the Mercedes and a little small, um, super nice vehicle. Mm-hmm. The fucking technology in these things are so cool. But um, uh, whenever we were in the showroom talking to salesman, uh, his name was Mark. Awesome guy right up the road in Greensburg. Fucking stupid. Super guy. Mm-hmm. He, would, he was like, yeah, you can sit in anything you want. He's like, but they were selling vehicles left and right. They had an SL550 convertible. Han and I have our, our, our midnight dream together when we're up at night and we talk about things. We both want a cool convertible to cruise around in. Right now, we really don't have spare time, so it's pointless. Mm-hmm. But it's nice to dream. We didn't know what we just look online at them. That SL550 was cool as fuck. Yeah. Two seater, luxury, 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 mm-hmm. and and in the AMG version, fast as fuck, ignorant ride. So, <laughs> me of course I thought about I was like, oh yeah, if I bought this, I'd buy the AMG version. And the guy goes, really? And I'm like, fuck yeah, dude, this car's <laughs> sick. I was like, this is like this. I felt cool because it's like the old man's golf car. Golf car. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like oh, like it's got a big trunk, huge front end on it. Yeah sick power it's just like a power move yeah it felt it felt like i should buy it when i'm like 50 yeah definitely fucks it doesn't have sex that car fucks you should definitely just buy it when you're 36 (laughs) (laughs) no it was cool it's i like doing that because it also puts me in a frame of mind that daydreaming those feelings i like it because i get to um whenever you're sitting there and you sit in the vehicle and you're just like I don't know, I kind of fall in love with it, and I daydream and think about it and put myself where I want to be. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's cool. Yeah. I'm excited for you, dude. Good yeah, job. Thanks. You've been do- this thanks. has been weekends in a row of Shane looking at vehicles. Yep. You are one patient, one I know, patient yeah, person. Right? I know. I am, patient. I am not. No, you're a fucking... If I can't come home same day with the ride... You're pissed. I'm done. I'm, I don't want it. A little bit it. of a dick. I don't want it. <laughs> Keep it. I'll go somewhere else tomorrow and get what I don't want, what? <laughs> just because I can bring it home. My God, I, I feel like a sports car is different for me. I think it's because it was an SUV I was looking at. I just wanted to see my options and drive them. But if it was a sports car, it's. I think I. Already there's know. so many. There's so many. It's. I've I've become like very like fortunate that like everything I've wanted has just been local. Like it's like mm-hmm. I don't know. Right time, right place. Yep. They knew you were coming. And like I was worried I was gonna someone was gonna scoop it up. So oh. I'm like, I better get it today. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> there is that Aventador down at I know. Uh, what is it? Is that Bobby Ray Hall Porsche? Yeah. Bobby uh, no, Rahal. no. No. No, no, no longer Bobby Ray Hall. Pittsburgh Porsche or some shit. It's just Pittsburgh Porsche. Yeah, yeah. he sold it off or whatever. Yeah. I don't know. Change names. Who gives a fuck? Same yeah. type of vehicles. Anyway, there's an Aventador there. Yeah, it's white. Pretty cool ride. It's white. I like it. I have no need for it. But we just got done talking about needs. Cars are not like a need thing. It's I a want thing. I want one. Yeah. <laughs> I come up, could you mm-hmm. imagine if I'm like, I come home with a fucking Aventador and Hannah's like, so we still don't have a family vehicle. I'd be like, yes, yes but. Yes, we're going to get one. <laughs> We can't even order it right now. This, so this, this was, was there. This was an investment. It was there. He this said, is, "He said I, mean, I looked great in it." You agree? You could say it was a family car and just say 
Yeah, but we'll all look really cool in it. We'll just boost. I the got value a beautiful family. family car for us. <laughs> we can ride in it one at a time. <laughs> yeah. Don't worry. We actually can't put SJ in it, but <laughs> you fit in it. Yeah. I do too. <laughs> look at us sitting. It. We'll take a picture. <laughs> We'll go for a 15-second drive and come back and look at the baby. Look at the baby. How many miles were on that? I don't know. Under three. Yeah, it was really low. Yeah, and it was white. It was white. I like white. I love white cars. That Mercedes Pittsburgh also had two used uh, Porsche Cayennes that I was looking at. Oh, really? Really? I almost pulled the trigger. Oh, man, that's your ride. Uh, One's red. and and, Well, the other one's a Macan. It's black. The the red one I would have went for the red one. It had like seventy five thousand miles. Oh, on. I couldn't oh get that's it. too high. Yeah, too way high. too high. Yeah, if I get a used vehicle, it's got to be yeah. it, depending on the used. I, I will say that buying a used sports car isn't a bad idea, but possibly a bad idea. Not a bad idea because you lose you you don't lose that depreciation. If it's under three thousand miles on a fucking sports car, it already took a huge hit on depreciation. Yeah. So you're cool there, probably twenty to thirty thousand dollars down, and then. I mean, it's hard to these these cars are made to beat on. Yeah, mm-hmm. you can't not drive these cars hard. Hard. You can't drive them like a grandma. No, they're made to be hit wide open. Mm-hmm. So fucking drive it that way, and it's kind of like, oh, if you didn't wreck it, it can't be yeah. that bad. If it's a fucking automatic, you can't you can't fuck the gears up. These things are so safe now. They are. You can do mm-hmm. anything in them. <laughs> if it had fifteen thousand miles on it. It would be in the parking lot right now. Oh yeah, if it yeah. had under twenty. Yeah. Like on 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 some of these vehicles, like I will say, like uh, like I said, I'm I like Mercedes Benz. Mm-hmm. I I like their SUVs. Um, they yeah, hold like, their value well. Yeah, you can find a ride like that, like under thirty thousand miles. It came in off of a lease. Like that's one of the a like, great car to pick up. Oh yeah. yeah. But there's not many of those out there because people scoop them up. No, and they hold on to them. And that, that so that was the other thing about Jeep. I was looking at used Jeeps, and I'm like, I don't really need a, I don't need like a new one. Why the fuck would I need a new one? I just want something I can cruise around in, have fun. There's not many used ones. No, oh, they fucking hang on to them. They dude. hold on to them. Uh huh. And then they hold their value high, like a used fucking Jeep was 50 G's. A used done up Jeep was 50 G's, and that's why I was like, okay, all right, I get it. A Wrangler like becomes like a family heirloom of some sort. It's just like something they just keep. You stay in the family. It was the dads, then it was the kids, then it was the kids' kids, and bro, then they 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 hold their value and, and they mm-hmm. bro, they run. I like them that you can like customize and do shit to them for relatively inexpensive. That was the other thing in that video, that YouTube video I watched. They yeah. talked that uh, Ford has like over two hundred different accessories for the new Broncos, and I'm like, you motherfuckers legitimately came to play mm-hmm. for customization. Yeah. They had to. Had to. Yep. I'd be... See, this is, again... I gotta look at them now. Oh, yeah. Pull them up, Shane. Pull them up. Put them on the screen. I'm sold on them. I like them. There you go. Look at that. Look at that thing. Yeah. This color is sweet. Put uh, 2021 Ford Bronco in the, in the thing so we don't get any old ones. Oh, the four-door is sick. The four-door is sick. I, I, so there's, there's three options. There's the, the, no. like the sport package. <laughs> Two-door, four-door, and no-door. <laughs> you just get in the top. <laughs> just jump in. <laughs> Fucking James Bond, that bitch. Yeah, dude, I'm sold on them. I the, think they're cool. The sport ones are the ones with the uh, hard top. If yeah. you don't get a sport one, it's all soft top. Look at that. I yeah. dig that. Yep. Those are sweet. I'm fucking sold. I think they're cool. That front end's sweet and the tires. Everything. They did everything really well. And, and if in the video, the guy stated that uh, it's easy to disassemble. And it probably did that for a couple reasons just because I think that's the sport. That's the sport. Look, yeah, there's the sport. Kind of looks like a Range Rover. Ah. A little shape of a Range Rover. It's not bad. I like it. Mm-hmm. No, they're I com- like it a lot. This is more of like a Jeep look. Yeah, that's the two-door. Yep. So apparently those fenders pop right off, too. The fender flares? Mm-hmm. Apparently those pop right off so you don't fuck them up if you go four-wheeling. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Really cool fucking vehicle, dude. Oh, what's the black one right there? Which one? This one? Yeah, that one. Pretty cool. 
Go down some more. Let's see. It is pretty cool. Very yeah, it's a unique ride. It's there's it is a legitimately a direct competitor. Wrangler never had a direct competitor. Am I wrong? Like recently, no. For the past fucking two decades, there's been nothing to compete with that. Fucking Chevy. Sure, tr- Chevy came back with their Blazer and made it look like a car, and it was like that was fucking stupid. No oh, one's created a. Uh, no. Go up and, and search interior. No one's created an off-road machine like the Wrangler. No, no, that's what I mean. It's awesome. Oh, great interior. Oh, yeah. See, there's that marine gray color. It's a YouTube video. Yeah, this. A little close-up. Hmm. Yeah, click that one. So apparently the, the display and everything, you're able to go through, like how you go through on, on, uh, like on your vehicles. Mm-hmm. Like on a high-end vehicle, you're like different suspensions, different, all, all the differentials. Do the same. I, I'm pretty sure you can do the same with this. Thing's sick inside. Really cool vehicle. I wonder like really cool. I wonder how like the space is in, in like inside. So the Wrangler, the the unlimited, it, the four the four doors in the Wranglers aren't bad. Mm-mm. So I I think this is going to be good. I I don't think it's going to be bad. It has to be comparable. It can't be smaller. It can't be a smaller interior than the Wrangler because then they you, couldn't compete. Could you imagine being on the team designing the Bronco? You're like, and your job is they told you to legitimately compete with the Wrangler. So you're going to make something so similar to the Wrangler, but not the Wrangler. Make it better. Mm-hmm. Do they have like a high performance version of this? So ride? they have, uh, I think there's a 2.3 uh, four cylinder, and then there is a 2.7 V6. Those are the two engine options, I believe. I didn't know if they put like a Raptor motor in one. No, no, no. You could never do that. I would never purchase one. Mm. It'd be a fucking death trap. You'd flip that motherfucker over in a heartbeat, dude. Mm. You, don't look at me like that. I mean, they they put some big things in Wranglers. Fuck you. Here's no the, way. Uh, I'd never do it. Look at that. Oh, sick display. Look at that. Yeah, right? Man, very... Uh, very tech savvy. See, now the hardcore Jeep guys are going to be like, ah, oh, it's too techy for me. Oh, is that a, a six-speed? Yeah, six Look at that wood grain. Hmm. Fuck. Oh, seven-speed. That orange or yeah. yellow is sick. Th- that is nasty. Oh, look at that. I'll buy that. I- I'd buy that without the with anything on it. Just. <laughs> how about how go up a little bit, Shane? Right there? No, go down. That picture? Bronco emblem? Yeah. Everywhere? It's, it's a, a bu- Bronco It's a emblem. bucking Bronco. It's not a Ford logo. Just like on the, the GT500. Yep. That's sick. Looks like a tight back seat. Looks like you're on Wrangler. Mars. Yeah, Wrangler's really tight. Yeah, there you go. Check it out. Oh, man. Oh, that's the other thing. Go up for a second, Shane. Go up a little bit more. Up, down. Right there. The Sasquatch package. What a name. They murdered it. There, it comes with 35, 17-inch bedlock-capable wheels. Beadlock, sorry. Yeah. Trail control. Yep. Electronic locking front and rear axle. Yep. High clearance suspension. <laughs> fucking Sasquatch. It's a Sasquatch package. That's the package I'd get. The Bronco cockpit. Yep, they did a good job. Yep. Mm-hmm. I like it. I'd buy one. I'd want to see it. Yeah. I'd want to see the options first. Great marketing photo there. Oh, dude. This, I, this whole thing, the whole thing that Ford did, they put the fucking work in on this mm-hmm. bitch. They can't fuck up. They can't. They cannot have any mishaps. Nothing like that. If they have huge fuck ups, the Wrangler will fucking. I have a feeling there's not going to be many issues with they these can't. rides. Mm-mm. They've been working on it for too long. They had to have been working on this for a while. Well, think about the first time we heard a rumor about the Bronco coming back. Oh, yeah. What, and then them three years ago, that four years had, ago. Yeah, they came out and I was like, I'm ugly as fuck. This thing's sick. They did exactly what they were supposed to do with it. Reserve now. Hit that button. Hit the button. Press it. Boom. What happened? What happened to this? 
You didn't press it hard enough. Yeah, I did. Building price oh, you coming it. soon. Hold your horses. Due to overwhelming demand, it's taking a little longer to process your request. <laughs> so they've, getting, they've gotten too many requests to uh, do this. No, that's like right now. Like requests right this second. Like the page is loading. Is that what that means? There's so many fucking people looking at this right now. No way. Yeah, dude, look. Yeah. You're fucking kidding me. This no. page will be available there's, again momentarily. There's like, no way. Yeah. Full of shit. No, it's it. real. Maybe they're just doing that to fuck with us. Uh-uh. Seeing if we'll stay. No. I think that's what that is. I think it's a countdown to see if we'll actually stay or leave. Page load time is not something you fuck with. No. Imagine if somebody had to wait like this for an AAR release. They'd get the fuck out. They wouldn't stay. Yeah. It's a big deal. You're bullshit. Hold your horses. Great fucking... They nailed it all. Another great thing. Because of the Bronco, you know? <laughs> I got it. Yeah, I didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> what is the re- Go back up. What does the reservation do for you? Gets you one step closer to owning a Bronco. Okay. Your deposit saves you... Your model selection reserves you the spot when the Bronco becomes available to order. Oh, oh it just rever- reserves me a spot. To order. Oh, to order. Okay, maybe I should have did that. What Whoa. do we want to do? It's the Big Bend. What's the Big Bend? Or what's this? So 28.5 it starts base. at. For the two-door. Yeah. Big Bend, two-door. Mm-hmm. Black, Black Diamond, Diamond. two-door. Outer Banks, off-road in style. The extreme off-road Badlands. in Badlands. What a nice name. Wild, Wild track. track. First, First edition. edition. Oh, that's where it got expensive. Let's First see the edition. Ford. 63.5 for the four-door. So, okay, the four-door First Edition. Is there anything higher than this? No, that's it. Click it again. Reservations full for the four. Reservations are full. Go for to the, the four-door. That's the one I'd buy. Yeah, it's full. Okay, go back one. First Edition. The Wild Track. That's 48. High speed Le- off roading. 51 3. High well. speed off roading. No, that's Seth Dies. Go back to one. The Badlands was a cool name. Extreme off roading. So it's 44, not 44 5 9. Bro, these, these are much cheaper than the Wrangler. Go to the Outer Banks one. That says off roading in style. Nope. I don't want to be in style. <laughs> nope, go back forward now. Go to the Badlands. Mm. Go one more. Nope, one more. Fuck it, that one. It's full. It's full. First edition is full. Yep. You'll never Son get of a bitch. Can't get one. Can't get one. Ever. And there will never be another one. Yep. Because it's a first edition. Yep. Yep. First timer. God damn. Damn it! That's what they did to me. Now they got me. It's the it's the grill. Look at the grill. I'm gonna pay double. Look, it has this thing. See, like this is like my approach with sneakers. If I miss them, I'm like, fuck. Now I gotta pay triple. Now I gotta pay triple for them. You gotta call Ford and be like, hey, I'm more important. Hello, How do I get a first edition? Ford. Mr. Ford. Mr. Henry. Hey, is Mr. Ford available? The original, please. <laughs> my grandpappy and his grandpappy are friends. So is uh I'll be like get the fuck out of here, dickhead. Is Mr. Ford here? <laughs> what do you mean? Like here in the, in this building? Sir, this is uh <laughs> like, What's up from? So this is oh, like, Harmerville. Real Caesar. <laughs> oh yeah, from fucking <laughs> hangover. He's like So does Caesar still live here? <laughs> oh man. Well, that's exciting. I like him. I like looking at him. Pretty cool. Hmm. Well, you got to talk to Jim Hackett. He's the CEO of Ford. Jim Hackett. Yep. Jimmy. <laughs> we talk about him on the podcast all the time. We're good with Jimmy's. Jimmy's. Jimmy. Big Jeff. <laughs> Big Jeff. <laughs> Fucking assholes. <laughs> ah, so Bob, we have some coffee here. I'm getting quite parched. So we had yeah. a. Um, we Sh- had a. Should I get some little cups or? Yeah, probably. Right. Huh. Yep. Yeah, so I'm not slurping all over it. So we've had on the uh, Bob was talk Bob and I. He drinks a nitro brew almost every day now, and uh, we had somebody send us some nitro brew coffees here from Caveman Coffee. Everybody's heard of Caveman. I think they sponsor Joe Rogan's podcast. Um, I don't think I do well with sponsors on here. Mm-mm. Yeah, I mean, 
we have people we like we like shouting companies out but if i have a sponsor they can they tell me what to say and do yeah it's different we don't like that i have a problem with it i have a problem with authority i also found out why i'm such a fucking asshole what's here a little competitive you a little bit <laughs> jesus yeah like now even though like i don't compete in bodybuilding but uh-huh. from a business perspective why i'm such an asshole sometimes competitive because like, i was i was wondering like why am i get like this and i'm like oh this is a competition life is a competition and yeah. i like i like to win mm-hmm. so i kind of realized why i'm like so aggressive with so many things i'm like this makes perfect sense now yeah but back to the coffees fan Listener uh-huh. sent us some cold brew coffees yeah. from Caveman Coffee, which I'm pretty excited. The can's fucking stellar. Great cans. Look at them. Look at them fucking labels. Great cans. This black one is awesome. Look at this nitro cold brew coffee. What flavor is that? Is that just a regular? I think that's just coffee flavored, right? Yeah, or unflavored. Coffee maybe. flavored coffee. Then we got vanilla cold brew latte and oh. sparkling hibiscus herbal tea. Mm, I'll fuck with it. Yep. Oh man. This looks fire. The macros pa- aren't aren't terrible either. No, paleo, plant based, and keto friendly. Mm-hmm. This one is thirteen carbs but zero sugars. Yeah, what are they used in here. Does it have erythritol in it? Um, Maybe not. I don't think coffee has erythritol. Uh, sometimes it's a sweet stevia. Stevia. No, MCT. That's what they, this has six grams of fat. <laughs> oh, shit. This is equivalent to three espresso shots. Oh, bitch. And that whole thing. People yeah. drink that whole fucking thing. Yeah. Where's Alvin at? That fucking piece of work. His caffeine and sweets lately. Listen, I, I love Alvin to death. So do we I. We talk about him all the time on here. I would love to see a day of Alvin's life. Because watching him suck down two large coffees mm-hmm. in midday after he took seventh gear for breakfast before his cardio yeah i don't know i i don't like he seems pretty calm when he comes in here is he whacked out of his fucking melon uh, he not- drinks two two <laughs> fucking cold brew three shot espresso things he's, from starbucks he's unaffected he's on keto dude i drank so much fucking caffeine on keto and it didn't do I shit to me keto things a lot with him yeah, maybe. He eats way too many cookies to be on keto, even though he's in ketosis. Even though he just hit 194. He's lying. Fucking liar. He's not. He it's eats crazy. so many cookies this weekend. I'm, I, I'm, so did I. Yeah. <laughs> Let's, hold on. Which one do you want to try first? All of them. All right. This one here is the vanilla cold brew latte. Oh, man. Mm, good color on it. Oh, yeah. Mmm, smells sweet. It smells good. Mmm. Not as sugary as I thought it was going to be, yeah, which no, I like. There's no sugar in it. Mm-mm. Wow. You need coffee flavor in this thing. Definitely has that nitro, like, smoothness to it. Oh, is that a thing? Oh, yeah. Like, hence, like, like the, that's why they, like, We'll do like nitro, like beers as well. Like it's like a smoother, like. It pour. does have like a smooth thing that's doing to my mouth. It's the nitro, gin. I'd fuck with that. Shane don't like it. I don't like it. You don't like it? No. It's doing Shane something weird to the back of my tongue. The smoothness. I like nitros from Starbucks. I love my Starbucks nitros. <clears throat> I mean, it's not as vanilla, vanilla-y as I want it to be. It's not as creamy. I'm a creamy coffee guy. I just want it to taste like those, uh, like the cough, like the cold coffees you get at like the gas station. It's like two sips. Oh, you mean the ones that are loaded with sugar? <laughs> yeah. And really bad for I you? I just want it to taste like that. <laughs> it's impossible. Those are two sips, by the way. Yeah, they're really bad. This, I mean... All right, let's try the nitro. Ooh. Huh. Hmm. 
What? Didn't expect that? I don't know. I'm a creamy coffee guy. Oh, no. Just the regulars are just, just black. Just black coffee, huh? Mm-hmm. I am a cream and sugar in my coffee type of guy. Okay, thanks. Some people say I'm a little bit less of a man because of it. You know what I say to those? That's okay. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> Mm, I like this one more. Shane don't like it. I'm done trying these. <laughs> Shane doesn't like them. So, no. I, I will say, uh-huh. it's not a real intense like coffee flavor. Much de- more delicate. Yeah. Um, I'm a... Me, I'm a kick you right in the face type of flavor person. I like it all. We like full-flavored coffee, for sure. I like sure. full-flavored coffee, and I like full-flavored uh, pretty much anything. Cigars. Whiskey. Whiskey. What did you say these are sweetened with? Stevia? I have a feeling we're going to get a little wacky from the caffeine, though. Mm. I, I like this one. I actually really like this one. Mm-hmm. Man, it is pretty fucking good. Yeah. It's not bad. It's uh, it's definitely a different flavor. I, it's light. It is light. It's light, but you can taste that it doesn't have a bunch of shit in it. Mm-hmm. You can taste that it doesn't have trash in it. I like it. Uh, I like the nitro better than I like this uh, cold brew latte. Mm-hmm. Agreed. Now, this one's a little weird. Whack out that one. Sparkling hibiscus. The herbal tea. Yeah, Herbal. I'm all, I'm all fucking for it. Ooh. Mm. I do like the... It smells like hibiscus. I don't know what that smells like. Like a flower? Yep, it is a flower. It's a herbal flower. Ooh. 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 I have a feeling Jay's going to like these. Maybe not. I don't know. I'm really excited for the herbal tea here. Look at, look at oh, Shane, Shane has his full a full nitro cup over there. He didn't even finish it. I didn't like it. He's going to hate this one. I can't wait to get his fucking reaction from this. I'm waiting for Shane first. Uh, what do you think, Shane? <laughs> oh, my God. He said no. Fuck. Shane fucking hates this one. <laughs> Shane also eats Taco Bell, you disgusting fuck. I love Taco Bell. <laughs> oh, did you see the Taco Bell what? thing on Barstool? What they're getting rid of? Mm. No, I didn't see that. No, the one that Taco Bell heaven? Yeah, it was like a... No, I yeah. want to go there. I, I it makes it look like it tastes good. Well, here it is, Shane. It says, this is what heaven actually looks like, and it's like one of the most exotic looking... It looks like a... It's on bar stool. It's nine posts deep. Oh, shit. Yeah. Palm tree. Mexico. <laughs> hey. Yeah. This is... I'm all in this one. I love this, this one. This is fucking delicious. I had them sitting out for a bit. I wish they were a little colder. Yeah. Bro, the macros are on that are fire. Oh, man. This is great. I love like a tea, like tea flavor. Is there no caffeine? I don't know. No? No. What's hashtag pirate life? I don't know. I don't know. Pirates? I thought we were cavemen. Six calories, one carb. No, it doesn't say there's any caffeine. I want caffeine in this because this is exactly what the fuck I would drink at, like, afternoon. Mm -hmm. Like, this is a fucking tremendous to drink in the afternoon. Whenever you're starting to have your dip and you need a little kick me in the ass to start the second half of your day at 2, 3 o'clock. This is it. This is it. I'm sold. I just want there to be caffeine in it. There's caffeine in tea. I like it. I like this a lot. Shane loves them. (laughs) 
They have a pumpkin spice. <laughs> no shit. Yeah. Basic. Mm. I like basic bitches. Um, Me too. Pirate life. They um, they believe in personal responsibility. This means not living the average helpless life with average health and slow decline into accepted sickness. The foundation of health can be broken down to focus nutrition and fitness. I wasn't listening. I know you were slurping. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I like it. Well, uh, the vanilla cold brew. I think I want to try the. Uh, I'm thinking we should order some. I think I'm going to order a lot of shit today. Just fill up the fridges. Fun I to like, look at. I like doing that. I love a full love fridge. That. Yeah, I can't beat that. Do you need more fruit? Yes, I actually do, you fucking asshole. I had to throw your fruit trays out. Oh, I, that's like There's bugs all over it and God shit. Damn it, son of a bitch. It's okay. You get, you get caught up with your fruit bowls and I know. just one thing leads Being to another. Being half a vegan. Yep. I have half a vegan salads every day. I eat fruit and I vegetables. I saw like even Sunday evening you do vegan salads. I know. 50% vegan. Uh huh. People were really proud of me. Yeah. They were like, I'm glad you're 50% vegan. Salads. Yeah. Fruits and veggies and meat. <laughs> That's the other 50%. It's the other half. Uh-huh. Some dude, some guy. He's, so I got a bunch of great messages. Uh, one of them was like, oh, it's so great that you're, that you're pushing to become vegan. And I'm like, no, I'm not. I'm fucking with you. I'm being a little bit of a dick, a sarcastic asshole. Yeah. But it's funny because I'm still working to be healthy because mm-hmm. fruits and veggies are good for you. Yes. Um, meat bad. No, just can't eat red meat every day, two times a day. Bad for you, especially not bad. my output. I don't put it. I don't. I don't work out enough. I do an hour of cardio every morning, and then I train four days a week. But man, I'm telling you what, I'm back. You look good, dude. It's back. Yep. I'd say my arms probably only like three quarters of an inch smaller than my other one. I'd probably say it's somewhere around there. Nice. Yeah, within within probably like three more months. I bet you it's pretty close to being back to the same size. That's good, dude. Yeah, it was the first time my upper body was sore in a while, too. Yeah. Excited to train. Mm-hmm. But people, a ton of people have been asking for a, 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 a video of what I eat now that I'm like half a vegan mm-hmm. and the Medi- Mediterranean diet thing and all that. That I want to know what I eat. Yeah. So I'm going to show them. We're going to do a video, a little vlog action. Nice. See my fruit bowls. I eat fruit. Veggies. Like giant veggie bowls, too. Yeah, giant veggie bowls. Not like bowls. a salad. It's no. like veggie bowl. Yeah, just uh, I'll do – I love olives. I like them. So I don't overpower my, my veggie bowl with them, but I'll do cucumbers, some beans. I love uh, – what the fuck are those things called? Garbanzo beans. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I like those. Um, I'll put some like of those chickpeas? in there. Yeah, chickpeas. That's yeah. the other name for them. Yeah, I like um, them, too. So then I'll do cucumbers, tomatoes. Uh, maybe like a little bit of an onion, um, the chickpeas, maybe some other types of beans, whether it be some light red beans, navy beans, uh, black beans, peppers, mm-hmm. uh, pretty much anything. And large bowls of them because they have to fill me up. Yeah. And I need a lot of food because I like food. I love food. So I don't want to be hungry in two hours, but I am anyways. So I just don't eat, though. <laughs> like I'm dieting. Yeah. <laughs> But no, I eat a lot of that because it's good for my gut, um, and then a lot of vitamins and minerals, um, and then the fruit. Eat a lot of fruit. Uh, I've noticed that um, I'm not as full as I want to be, all jammed and shit. Mm-hmm. But my gut functions way fucking better. Um, I feel way better. Yeah. Uh, I still can eat some rice. Some dude, another message from a person was like, he's like, bro. He's like, let's take a moment for the fucking rice, <laughs> meaning it's dead. It's dead to it's you. It's dead to me yeah. right now. Uh, but no, it's, it's good. I don't eat as much uh, seafood as I should just because I can't get good seafood. Mm-hmm. I've bought seafood locally. It fucking sucks. It uh, fucking sucks. I, I know. I hate to say anything bad, but like the fish we got that we ordered from downtown. Yeah. Like it wasn't good. Like the, no. the, the scallops were okay. The swordfish we got, super I'm gonna, modi- mediocre. I'm going to call Bala yeah. and be like, hey, dude, how about I get on a reoccurring thing with you guys? Yeah. And I legitimately will give you $200 every 10 days. Yeah. You send me a new box of fish. Yeah. Can we just do that? Mm-hmm. I don't really give a fuck what you send me. 
just send me anything for that no, dollar. No, send amount. me your favorite cuts from that week. I kind of think I want to do that yeah. with them and see if they'll be cool with it. Yeah. Because I need that. Yeah. Bardeen's, f- Bardeen's uh, chicken, Bro, out of hand. They got my fucking business now, dude. Forever. Yep. Really good spot. Yep. Um, but, so me, I get the red meat once a week. I get large veggie bowls and the fruit you guys made. Everybody makes fun of me. But I'm working. I, I want to see... I guess my new challenge in life is to see if I can be get get my blood work to look really good. Because mm-hmm. let's face it, my blood work has not looked fucking stellar mm-hmm. in over a decade. Yeah, there's always been something. Oh, it's just bodybuilding. Oh, you eat a lot of protein. You eat a lot of food. Like all oh, this and all that. I don't want to hear that. I want to see how much it takes for me to get to that point where I don't hear that. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, and it's going to take some work, mm-hmm. but at the same time, like. I kind of like that. I enjoy it. I enjoy a challenge. Yeah, it's your new and goal. And that's kind of what I took into it. A lot of people, uh, Prisk took a lot of time. Dude's taken a lot of time to put me into this. Took his own time and put a lot of uh, work into saying, let's see this and let's see what this looks like. For sure. <clears throat> so, I just, I'll just i be half a vegan for like another month. And after that, I'm just going to put it in God's hands. Yep. It's in his hands. Send it. Going to God. Yep. I hear a lot of people tell me, just put it in God's hands. So I'm just going to eat whatever I want, and whatever God says is going to happen to me. I'm you're, kidding, everyone. You're in good hands. I'm, I'm kidding. It's a joke. I'm just <laughs> fucking with you. Uh, no, but it's, uh, yeah, a little bit of work. I'm just, anytime I'm hungry right now, I just eat. I just pretty much eat. You're like... I'm exactly where I've always wanted to be my entire life, and you that's to eat whatever the fuck I want, and my weight stays the same. Does not affect or you. Or drops. It does not affect you at all. At all. All you had to do was become a triathlete. That's it. Who would have ever known? I would have never thought. Hey, look, all you have to do is bike 62 miles <laughs> uh, one time a week, run half a marathon every Friday, swim at least a mile every day, and you can eat whatever you want. Uh-huh. Yep. I'll be damned. Yeah, you, you, t- you messaged me my refuel yesterday morning. <laughs> Bro says, did you see it? He says, he's like, he's taking a picture of his food. He's like, oh, I got to refuel. And I'm like, Bro, you just ate fucking pizza last night. Yeah. And it didn't last because you had your big ride. So your refuel meal your refuel meal is a fucking joke. Yep. Because you just ate two fucking whole pizzas. Dude, I got done that, that bike Sunday morning. And it was like I didn't eat for three fucking days. No shit, you just burned fucking 3,000 calories. Yep, I sweated out seven and a half pounds in three hours. Bro. Oh, dude, you should have seen the floor. Bro. It was fucking brutal. Bro. Seven and a half pounds. I weighed myself before I got on. Bear in mind, too, I drank four 24-ounce water bottles of fluids while on the while bike. While on the bike. Yeah. yeah. Fucking couldn't keep it in me. It was just pouring off of me. Ooh, that's wild. And then uh, the day before that, ran 10 miles uh, that morning. This past seven days was my biggest output week to date so through I, this whole I was, training. I was just going to say, when I watched you do all that, and then yeah. you said you're going to swim today? Yeah. Open water swim? Uh, no, just in the pool okay. today. Yep. And But those two things you just did, and last week we were fucking, I was busting your balls and talking shit to Kenny and Scott, saying like, Oh, taking it easy. Yeah. Now I'm like, hey, Bob, how about we take it easy during the week and then murder it on the weekends or yeah. something like that. But now I, I, after seeing that and listening and talking to you about it, I was like, oh, okay. Oh, it's, it's such yeah. a crazy mindset. I, I was, I was feeling Saturday after I got done my run, I was in pain. Like I was hurting. Yes. My legs were hurting. My body was hurting. My yeah. stomach was fucked up. I was dehydrated. Oh boy. And instantly just started taking on fluids we got we got pizza i couldn't even make we were going to do homemade pizzas uh-huh. i didn't have time to make the dough and wait for them to get done like i needed you were it hurting. so i was hurting got some good sleep saturday night woke up i was okay did the bike stretched hydrated again i feel amazing today good but i was messaging kenny and scott and I was like, hey, rough run today. I was like, I had, you know, my output was big this week, so I expected to be sore and tired. And I was like, when do I pepper in, like, an, like a complete off day or, like, you know, a rest day? And Scott is, like, nonchalantly, he's like, well, I'll, I'll take a break, like, every 10 to 15 days. I'll throw in, like, a rest day. Ah. And I'm like, 10 to 15 days. I'm like, no one has ever said that, period. And it's like, 
if, if anyone knows Scott, like at least how Kenny describes him, that's exactly how he is. Like, he'll be like, oh, yeah, it's okay. You don't have to do that, but I'm going to go do six more miles more than you. It would be just fine. You're not a pussy, though. Oh, man. <laughs> that okay. kind of guy, right? So, oh, yeah. Um, yeah, so I, I don't know. I feel a lot better today. It's all about the recovery, and it's not its not about, like, extensive recovery. It's getting it when you can, sleeping well, making sure you're getting ahead with your nutrition instead of behind. And, dude, hydration. Well, that's it's, that's it's really not, hard to do those things whenever you put out that much. Yeah, right. Like, yeah. if you fall behind, you're behind. I was behind. Saturday then, morning I woke up, I was I was already behind. That's what I mean, and then you're yeah. going to be behind again, and you're going to be behind again. Yep. That's For 10 miles, my stomach hurt. Ten, like like that like bubble guts mm. but it's not from anything you ate it's from fucking being yeah, dehydrated but, mm-hmm. yeah that's tough yeah fuck yeah but so, uh and and my thing to you how it's like bro you're like all pumped up and you're excited we were texting and shit uh-huh. and i'm like this isn't even game day uh-uh this is this is like you're like so excited. I'm like this is the fucking process. Mm-hmm. This isn't like how excited you are. You haven't even felt a game day yet. No, I can't imagine. Like if this is how you feel because you're doing things that normal people don't do but are capable of, they just have to put the work in. Yeah, you haven't even felt game day. Mm-hmm. You haven't even felt the true bubble guts and the butterflies and the views and the scenery and what Kenny talked about going to fucking. Going up to uh, Lake Placid yeah. and seeing all that shit. You haven't even felt that day yet. Mm-mm. I dream about it. Well, that's what I mean. That's like when yeah. as a bodybuilder doing those things, like, and, and you're so excited because you love the process. Bodybuilders love the process. Well, that, I, I put myself in, in your shoes and pro athlete shoes doing all this training. That's why I was text, like messaging that over the weekend. I never knew what that was like, the... the Bro, I'm not sleeping at night because I'm that excited to wake up and train. Fuck yeah. And, and it's just like, it sounds so wild to think that way, but when you found something that you are like, okay, I'm not only okay at this, I'm becoming pretty fucking good at this, and the harder I train, I get even better. Mm-hmm. And Bro, that's why, that's why um, I fell in love. Yeah. Like, I found something, like, we talk about what people are really good at. Mm-hmm. I'm phenomenal in the gym. I don't know what happens to my head, mm-hmm. but everything makes sense. Yeah. Everything in the gym makes sense to me. Yep. The angles, the weights, the concepts, the levels of intensity. I don't know how I'm able to see through everything and see so clearly that I'm like, this is how I'm going to do it. Yeah. I, training is my favorite thing in the world. Mm-hmm. I can make a workout as little intense or as intense as I want. Mm-hmm. Different training techniques, different, different thoughts. I don't even know how I even came up with the concepts I came up with. They just seemed like good ideas. Yeah. But it's the same thing when somebody goes to rip apart an engine, just sees it. Somebody picks up an instrument. They can just play it. They can listen to a song and play it. How the fuck you listen to a song and just play it? Same way I go in there and pick up weights and feel it. Mm-hmm. I'm not a genius when it comes to physics. But somehow, lifting weights, which is physics, makes perfect sense to me. Yeah. And that's what you're falling in love with. It's incredible, man. It's awesome. It's so cool. It's so, so much fun. It is. It's a lot of fun. Fuck yeah. Like, I thoroughly enjoy beating the shit out of my body. And that's, like, I love it. And that's why we on here and have always talked about appreciating what people do in their lives. Yeah. And not so much degrade, but always build up and be excited and listen and watch what people do and their craftsmanships and their passions and their excitement. Mm-hmm. Fucking awesome. Yeah. Yeah, dude. It's great. <laughs> it's awesome. Yeah. That's one, that's one YouTube video that I want to do soon was people ask about coaching. I probably get, I probably get two dozen uh, messages a week about coaching. Mm-hmm. Easy two dozen. And I don't have fucking time to coach nobody, but they like the concepts I talk about. So I have a list of uh, people that I follow. You, there's YouTubers out there, people I follow on Instagram, uh, people that I know are tremendous coaches. I want to make a list of them and tell people like what to look for when you find a good coach. Yeah. How do you find a good coach? And not so much just bodybuilding, but like life as well. For sure. Like you don't need to be, if you want a coach to get you in shape over the next fucking like six months, 
how do I do it? What do I do? How do I find a good coach? And this and that. Who would be a good coach for that? Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm not a bodybuilder. No, most coaches, I'd probably say most coaches probably don't coach bodybuilders. Yeah. I'd probably say, I'd probably say the uh, fi at least fifty percent of their client base is regular people. Yeah, general fitness, weight loss, or yeah. muscle gain. Like, and how much money do you want to spend? Is that person worth it? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. There's a few things. So I, I, have a, I have a list of things I want to talk about. I'm excited to make that video. Nice. Because I get fucking tons of people. Yeah. And you don't want me coaching you. That's the other thing about people that don't know about coaches. Most coaches are assholes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If I was coaching you, you wouldn't like me. No. Because I'm the coach. Mm -hmm. I'm going to tell things you to do that you really don't want to do. Otherwise, you'd already be doing them. Yeah. So that's a problem and people have with coaches. They're like, oh, he was an asshole. I'm like, so he was good. So he, so he called you out for cheating when you weren't fucking supposed to. Yeah. When he told you to do extra cardio, you had a burger and fries. And he told you to do extra cardio, and you said you were tired. <sighs> I know you're tired. That's why I'm telling you to do it. Stop being a pussy. <laughs> ah, it's tough. That's so hard about being a coach. Dude, that's so, it's the realest thing that happens, though. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like, because I, I Hannah's working out. Uh -huh. Beat the shit out of her on Friday. Nice. It wasn't. I didn't punch her in the face. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but we were in the gym, and uh, she's like, she wants to start working out again. So we did all body weight exercise. I was like, we're gonna work on your legs. We're gonna work on proper technique and doing all this stuff. And I heard I can't like five times in the beginning about doing squats and this and that. And I'm like, hey, you're a big time gymnastics coach. I was like, I don't want to hear that word come out of those words come out of your mouth again. She's like, I know, it's just, I'm getting back into it. I'm like, okay, so we started going, and she's very capable. Yeah. Because she started fucking doing everything perfect and on, and then I'm like, yeah, it's like, as a, as, as a coach, you have to understand that you're going to do things. Somebody's going to teach you how to do things. Mm -hmm. You have to be open. You have to be coachable. For sure. Yeah. She was, she was hurting. I heard doing squats, lunges, step-ups. Oh, she's uh, so sore. Oh, she, bro, she, she, we were, where were we yesterday? We were walking through the parking lot going to buy furniture and stuff. And she's, I'm carrying the baby and she's like lagging behind. I'm like, hey. She's like, I can't fucking move, okay? <laughs> I'm like, oh, I forgot. <laughs> but yeah, it's, um, that's, that was a big thing. Yeah. Because even I, I watch her coach them girls. Oh, she's fucking, she's fucking tough. Yeah. But when you're a coach, you have to be tough. Mm -hmm. You know, people, you, you, you can't, as a coach, you're the one that looks at the potential of someone mm -hmm. you know what i mean if i'm looking at somebody and they're saying i want this and i want this and i want this i'm like okay automatically in my head i look at what you can become not what you are i look at what you can become the potential for you to be able to do that mm -hmm. i know how to get you there coaches know how to get you there you hired that person to get you there so they're going to yeah you know what I mean? Yep. Yeah. So there's been a lot of a uh, lot of questions. So we're gonna do a YouTube video on it. Nice. I'll make a list. I have a list of people that uh, I've watched and have really good. They have great credentials, good concepts. Can work with people that are natty, that aren't natty, that w specific things that they want. Good nutritional concepts. People that push um, push food and work over drugs. That's one thing. If you have a coach that's pushing drugs over food or drugs over work, fuck rid of them. Yep. If you're a natural person that says, I want to stay natural, and that coach says, you should try this, and you don't want to, fuck out of here, dude. Yep. None of that shit. Nope. You know? So, cool stuff. There's a lot of really good coaches out there. Yeah. I don't think that a lot of people know because um, they're coaches. They're not pro bodybuilders. Mm -hmm. you know well, I, I think it's, it's hard to find someone credible without being recommended or – Knowing someone that was have, has been with them. And you have to go through a little bit of shit, too. Yeah. And coaches aren't cheap, dude. You're asking for somebody's time. Yeah. And, and, and that's part of finding a good coach that spends time on you. Well, yeah. And then if you go forward and you're spending the big money, mm -hmm. fucking listen to them. Coachable. Yes. You have to be coachable. Mm -hmm. I was very coachable until I decided to get, get a big head. And then I was uncoachable, didn't listen well, and, and big mistakes happened. Mm -hmm. That's what happened with me. Once I became, I thought I, was, I, I thought I knew what I was doing and I thought I was better, that's when I had mistakes. Yeah. 
whenever I thought I should take more drugs and push harder because I thought that's what I should do and I didn't have a coach, I fucked up. Mm -hmm. So you have to be coachable. Yep. And also be very alert and pay attention because if something looks like shit and smells like shit, it's shit. Yep. Yep. So YouTube videos. Man, even with that fucking air conditioner going, it's fucking hot in this bitch. I'm, I'm regretting wearing a gray shirt. Yeah. So how? No, you're good so far. Uh, she, you should see the back. I can imagine the back's fucking covered in sweat. Oh yeah. <laughs> Soaked. <laughs> so how about that fucking problem? The guy came in. Yeah. Guy came in. Stupid problems. Yeah. Simple fixes, but I wasn't getting up on that roof fixing things. Imagine how fucking hot it is up there on that black top. All I picture is myself falling. Yeah. I, I, I hurt myself. I fucking the tri ding the tricep up here. Mm -hmm. I'm like, I'm a little afraid to do anything stupid that I really like would just normally do without thinking or go do and just say, fuck it. Like, that's what I do. Yeah. I'm very nervous about them all now. I don't want to go back to fucking Presk. <laughs> I don't. For I as mean, much as I love that guy, and as good as he is, I do not want to be like, hey, so I broke my ankle. I, I mean, hey. I, I think about it now, too. Like, uh, I, I get nervous with everything I do now. Fucking Because, like, between you, Kim's going in on knee. the 30th to have a fucking full ACL meniscus surgery with Presk. At least you have... I'm, uh, the thing is, he <sighs> is so good at his fucking job. He is. I He's mean, fucking top-notch. That dude's the shit. Well, yeah, he has to be because Kim doesn't seem too nervous about this. She, this is this. She's blown this knee out. This is her third time. Third time. Third ACL surgery. This is the most comfortable going into a surgery I've ever seen her. I mean, I've been in her life for all three now. Yeah. And uh, she, she's like the, she's like between Josh and Prisk. She's like, I, I know I'm in good hands. I, anybody listening. I will say that if I did get re-injured, I would be pissed. I wouldn't be worried. Mm -hmm. Right. I'd be just pissed that I have to go through it again. Mm -hmm. Not worried. I, oh, he had a, I had my checkup last week. Yeah. <laughs> he did more x-rays and sonograms, and he's like, hey, we talked about your bicep, right? And I'm like, yeah, we did, dude. He's like, just letting you know. I'm like, fuck you, dude. <laughs> Because my bicep's fucking... It's a little rough. Oh, yeah. Yeah, a ton of calcification. Yeah. He's like, it's, it's just letting you know. I'm mm. like, so are you fucking telling me? He says, let's just not do heavy, anything really heavy. I don't do any preacher curls. And I'm like, really? And he's like, no preacher curls, dude. He said, <sighs> bicep tears. The number one reason you tear a bicep is not doing any, any type of weightlifting, actually. He said, I've had more bicep tears from weightlifters doing normal people things than lifting weights. Then, then it occurring during like, yep. uh, okay. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, deadlifts and preacher curls. He, he's like, other than that, he's like, I haven't had any bicep tears other than deadlifts and preacher curls. He's like, people do tear them. He's like, but me personally, all of them have been from deadlifts and preacher curls. Mm. So he's like, let's stay away from them for a little bit. And I'm like, a little bit. Do you mean the rest of my life because it is fucked up? And he's like, maybe. <laughs> Because he's a fucking <laughs> yeah, <show>. yeah. <laughs> but yeah, he's. I, 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 like I said, I'd be pissed. I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be worried, no. bro. This he, we had the thing, and he's like, we're going through it, and he's like, this is one of the best recoveries I've had yet. And I'm like, really? And he's like, yeah, dude. He's like, this is a good job. And I'm like, well, I'm doing everything fucking Josh is saying. And I haven't done anything stupid. I've been doing the fucking bands. I just do push ups at like an angle. Hmm. You know, I don't do anything over the top. And he's like, you're gonna have a great recovery. And I'm like. I feel like I should. Yeah. He's like, still no weights, though. I'm like, a little bit of weights. Just a couple. Just he's like, couple no weights them. on your tricep, dude. And, he's, and then he starts going through the things I shouldn't do. He's like, no over-the-head uh, extensions. And I'm like, so none of these, huh? And he's like, no. Let's just remove them forever. And I'm like, bad idea. And he's like, you think you can get by without doing them? And I'm like, yeah. Yeah. He's like, do you need to be massive again? I'm like, I kind of want to be. I shouldn't be. He's like, ah, I no be reason. As, I want to be as big as I can. <laughs> With as little test and as many tricep exercises as possible. <laughs> He's like, fuck you, Seth. <laughs> I didn't, didn't say that. Uh, uh, the over the head extensions. Mm -hmm. And then he said, if you do skull crushers, to the nose. No behind the back skull crushers. You know how I, I tell people in the videos, if you want a... Uh, 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 large, large triceps. <laughs> 
Yes. Do it behind record. the head. Uh, whenever you go down, like behind the head, because you'll keep constant tension. And he said, uh, he said at that point, he says it puts your tri- it puts your triceps uh, at a very vulnerable position. Mm-hmm. So he's like, if you do if you do skull crushers, right to the nose. Yeah. That way, you're not at that full vulnerable position. He said, over time, yeah, as it strengthens. He says, but right now, fuck no. And I'm like, mm, okay. Mm. So uh, none of those. He told all it was. It was a conversation of things I can't do. So I want to do them all. Yeah. So there's more. Don't is do it, this. There's more can'ts than no, can'ts. No, I, <laughs> but so, but uh, yeah, it was good. So I am not cleared to lift weights because he said uh, he wants another week of bands. He said, "Do what Josh says, and then after the bands, um, uh, work into doing some lightweights with bands connected. Mm-hmm. Just continue to progress." He said, "Because if you're not in a huge rush, he's like, you're not competing. You don't have anything that you like have to go do." He said, "So just go through the process nice and slowly, so that way, uh, as time goes on, it continues to look better. In not only that, but function better." Because yeah. I want a full recovery to be able to do everything I want to. Mm-hmm. I want to do those skull crushers. I want to do over the head extensions. I want to do all these things. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to take it slow and do exactly what they state so I can have a 100% recovery. Yeah. Because he said uh, there's people that aren't able to have full extension. There's people that have problem at, 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 at flexion. Mm-hmm. I have none of those nice. because I did everything I was supposed to. So I still don't want to get fucking hurt, but if I do get hurt, I'm going to go to him. I have to say, you've done a good job. I haven't done anything fucking stupid. You haven't. That's why I'm like, it's a lot of, I, have, I never realized how much work it is, though. It's way more work for you to put, to not do dumb shit. Yeah, it actually is. It's like quite the effort. Like, I'm like, oh, like, uh, yeah. no. Nope. I think about it a lot now, and I realize <laughs> how many dumb things I actually do. Mm-hmm. Man, I wonder where I got that. Like, oh, put it this way. Slip and slide? I was like, yeah. Nope. No. No. Fuck no. Sack race at a party over the weekend? I was like, nope. Nope. Nope, not doing it. And they're like, why? And I'm like, I tore my tricep. And they're like, isn't it healed? And I'm like, I'm not fucking doing the sack race. Because all I got to do is trip over myself, go to catch myself, embrace myself. Bah! Dumb shit. That's not dumb, though. That's fun. I, like I said, dude, I think about it with everything now. Every, yeah. Everything I do. Because I don't want to get injured. I don't want to fuck up my training. Nope. Yeah. Like every time I like I feel something sore like in my knee. Oh my God. Like I got up from oh. we have like high top chairs in the yeah. kitchen. And like I like got down like jumped down. <laughs> Not really jumped. Just like got down. <laughs> Slight hop. And I felt something in the back of my knee. I'm like Kim. I was like I feel something in the back of my knee. She's like could it be your hamstring is tight. I'm like. <laughs> from biking 67 miles. I was like it really hurts though. And she's like. You're fucking sore, dude. Like, just just chill out. I'm like, fucking hypochondriac. Be, I was like, might be the meniscus. I was like, should I see press? <laughs> and she's like, just calm the fuck down. Everything's fine. <laughs> but I I get worried about that shit, dude. Yeah. You oh know? yeah. Especially because it fuck up what you want. Like uh, with this injury, uh, I'm cool with it. Uh, like I said, now that I can lift weights, like mm-hmm. I'm not lifting weights on my tricep. I'm lifting weights. You know, I can do pull downs. I can I can do pull downs, I can do curls, I can do flies, I can do uh, laterals, lateral raises. I can do all those things. I just can't do any type of I don't do any type of tricep work except my bands. Yeah. Which I have all the different levels, the green through black, mm-hmm. all of them. The black being the biggest and the sturdiest. Mm. Go figure, huh? <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah. So, I'm excited. Mm-hmm. Get to lift weights though. Putting the size back on. I was thinking about that. So, you know, I was like 211 pounds or 12 pounds. I was not lifting weights. Mm-hmm. So, like, and I was like, man, I'll be fucking 205. That's not how Seth works. No. I forgot. All I, <laughs> once I start lifting weights and I eat the same amount of food I eat now, and as once I lift weights, I get bigger. Yes. I do have stupid I've, genetics. I've seen it fucking firsthand multiple times. Yeah. I'm, I'm watching it happen. Mm-hmm. Like, because I haven't, bro, I didn't lift weights for 11 weeks. I know. Like, I didn't lift in se- intense weights. Dude, even back when... So, so, like, there's this big misconception. Like, every summer I see you pull, like, carbohydrates pretty much out of your diet. And eat fruits and veggies. Like, rice is pulled out. Yeah. It's chicken, fruits and veggies, red meat once or twice here or there. But the rice comes the fuck out. Yeah. 
I've seen you stay big, get bigger without rice, without carbs. It's just if you lift weights and you eat anything, you get, get bigger. Big. Yep. Yeah, because I feel it like my chest. Yeah. Now that I lifted chest, yeah, it's going to happen. And I will the, put and then on every workout you get bigger. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that'll happen. Like your legs? Yeah. yeah they're bigger. <laughs> I see that. They're back. <laughs> I, I just can't wait to do hamstrings. We've got to put that together. All the decals should be going up. Yeah, we got to get the... Once the decals go up, we'll have everything put in the right spots and do a nice YouTube video about the display of our new gym. Yeah. It'd be very cool. Yeah. Cool beans. Yeah. Good morning. It's a great morning. Have a good time. I hope everybody's enjoying it. Yeah. Uh, I feel like right now we should bring on the question, Shaner. Uh, again... New YouTube channel. Everyone go to the HWMF Podcast YouTube channel and subscribe and like the videos. Uh, on top of that, um, where else? New YouTube videos coming this week from us. We've got a new training video with Dean and I going up. We're going to film another one. Uh, we're going to film the coaching video. It'll be good stuff. Do have uh, maybe a small AAR release coming up. That we do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe some cool things like Not shorts. Yeah. Maybe. Huh? Not, not a full fucking 107 item lineup, no, but uh -uh. more like more like a t-shirt, tank top, shorts, hats. Yep. Cool stuff. Yeah. Quick little mini release here for everybody next week. Yeah. Like Tuesday. Yeah, you'll see some more details into the week. This week, yeah, for mm -hmm. sure. But uh yes. So, YouTube channel, training videos, informative videos, fun shit, me racing Bob and his cars on my feet. Um I'm going to lose. I don't know. A bunch of people wondered that one, huh? I don't know, dude. You see my feet move. They're pretty fast. Once you get moving. <laughs> I'm <what>? not stopping. <laughs> uh, but next, we're going to go in here for the, uh, not answer the internet anymore, or ask the internet, just fucked up questions from Shane. We look for them. They're always mm -hmm. fun and entertaining. But please do not take anything that we say from here on out serious. No. Nope. But make sure you're asking all your coworkers, your friends, your family, people on the job sites, people in the office, company-wide emails, all of it. Good stuff. Shane, let's go. I have a fun fact first, actually. Oh, fun so fact. So you guys were talking about the entanglement. With the Jada entanglement. Pink how yeah. Jada Pinkett Smith yeah. and Will Smith, they got into entanglement. Could you imagine, like, okay, say I'm Will Smith when I grow up, and Hannah ends up having sex with one of the kid's friends. Like, their relationship. How fucked up is that? That's like a porno. Somebody's watching yep. too many pornos. Yeah. Way too many. Fuck, that means pornos becoming a reality. These kids today, I tell you what. They don't know. Or they Fuck. Do know. I don't even know. But the entanglement, anyway. Um, August Aslina, or Alcina, whatever his last oh, name August. is. Oh, yeah, August. Yeah, August. August. Um, August. Him and Rick Ross came out with a song called Entanglement. So if you want to go listen to it and have a good time, go it's ahead. It's pretty savage, dude. It's savage. That's a savage move. Like is Will Smith like a huge asshole? No. We don't know about it? Well, maybe. I don't know. And like everybody's fucking his girl and making songs about fucking Will Smith's woman? <sighs> I'm gonna do they make, him, do they make I, him look like a bitch? I, oh, I'm yeah. I was just going <gasps> to say, I hate to say it, I feel like he's he might be a little bit of a pussy. So wait a minute, wait a minute. They made a song about Will Smith being a fucking bitch? No, they made, I mean, it's primarily about Jada, but. Being a whore? Yeah. And like describing what an entanglement actually means. What does it mean? Well, they were saying if you're entangled, you're entangled in a bed with me. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's... I mean, I mean, she was. She was. If I was Will... They just cleared everything up. If I was Will, I don't know why... I mean, he, he... I don't know what he's doing. Like, why does he love this fucking cunt? She's a fucking piece of shit. She's a bitch. Fuck her. I was Will Smith. I'd be going... I'd go fucking lay as much pipe as I could with as many celebrity or many fucking high-end bitches or just smoking hot women as possible. Fuck her, dude. You don't have somebody treat you like shit like that. Maybe it was a fucking plan, but they made him look like yeah, just bad. Yeah. He just, he's loving a woman that doesn't love him back. What kind of fucking fucked up shit is that? Why would you love a woman that doesn't love you? Why would you love someone and chase somebody that just fucking shits on you? What kind of garbage is that? What type of garbage person are you? And then there's people making fucking songs about it and this and that. And you're like, but I love her so much. She's my everything. She's your everything, but she's shitting on you, dude. I know. They're making memes about him being a pussy and stuff. And it's... Uh-uh, man. Even, and, and, and that's the thing. Like, he's the if, Fresh Prince. Even if he wasn't the Fresh Prince and just a dude... If Jimmy down the road... Jimmy down the road keeps, keeps chasing his fucking whore of a wife who treats him like <laughs> shit. Fucking fucks the UPS guy. Fucks... 
fucks the other Jimmy up the road. No. You should not be with people that don't appreciate you for who you are. I agree. So that's why I asked maybe he's an asshole, but I don't know. He doesn't seem like an asshole. I don't think he's an asshole. I just think Fucking he's not like a savage, like... Bitches. Fuck her. Yeah. Throw her to the curb. Who cares what she is? I wouldn't care. That's I don't care. mean. I don't care who she is. Even if it's the other way around, a man treating a woman like that, same thing. Get Bitch, get rid of him. Of yeah. Fuck him. Shouldn't do those things. You should, you should be with people that want you to be phenomenal and build you up and do great things together. Like fuck under waterfalls. Sell surfboards on the fucking, on on the beach. No, not live decades of fucking bullshit and fucking, fake love. Uh, and fake, fake motherfuckers. I don't like it. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I'd rather drive my Bronco on the beach and get blowjobs. If they, if you don't want to do that with somebody, why are you even having a conversation with them? Mm-hmm. I'd be like, fuck this pig. Get out of here. I feel bad for the man. Any guy or woman too. that goes through something like that, I don't like that shit. I know he's a good dude. There's no way he's a piece of shit. I don't know. I don't know about all these Hollywood celebrities and shit anymore with all the fucking pedos and fucking hair sniffing people and weird fucking islands. Like I said, cool. I want to fuck under a waterfall and all that and do all my fun stuff with my woman. The woman that loves me. She loves me when I'm sick. She loves me when I'm an idiot. She loves me no matter what. And I love her no matter what. That's part of the process here. If I got somebody telling me they're in a fucking entanglement, you can go fuck yourself. I'll kick you right out the door. What's with all these new words for, like, Everything. just being a piece of shit? <laughs> yeah, good point. Yeah. yeah. What's with the new words, huh? Entanglement? Tra- entanglement. Get no, you're fuck a out fucking bitch. Yeah. You're a pig. Just if it, I'm not saying just women, men, there's lots of men pigs out there too. Mm-hmm. Like what's, what, I don't understand. I don't understand why you can't go to your woman. That's what, that's my thing. I want to, I, I mean, I, I don't want to hear details, but I want to hear that you're laying some pipe with your woman. If you've been with her for a long time, you two should be doing some wild fucking shit together, having a good time. Mm-hmm. And if you don't want to, if neither one of you want to, then what the fuck are you doing in the relationships? Oh, we're staying together for the kids. Yeah, guess what? The kids see you guys argue every motherfucking day anyway. The kid sees you drink a bottle of wine a night and get all fucked up because you hate dealing with your cocksucker of a fucking husband. Maybe if you two just actually became better people and worked fucking out of relationship, things would be better. Go suck his fucking dick. Go buy her the fucking purse she wants, you son of a bitch. Work for it, motherfuckers. Right? Yeah. Or get the fuck out. Or get out, dude. Life is way too goddamn short. Fucking right it way is. Way too fucking great to have all these fucking dumb issues. It's like they're normalizing this fucking shit. Mm. Fuck you. Go have fun. Go enjoy it. Love life. I, I mean, like I said, I get fucking, I get waterfall videos all the time. From people, they're not fucking. They're just showing me the water fodder, water water fodder, water, water, water fodder. The water fodders, and then they're like, like the, there's so many people that like have the fucking they 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 uh, they're recording the waterfall, and then right back at their girl and be like, yeah, and then the girl just has this <laughs> look on her face like, ah. <laughs> there's people here. I'd fuck her if there weren't people here. I'd be like, yeah, he should. But it's fun. That's what it's supposed to be. And if you're with somebody that's been in a relationship for a long time, like. You should be having those fun things. You should be doing those extravagant things to keep your relationship fucking spiced up and fun. Yeah. Because I was in a really fucking bad relationship. I was becoming a bad person because of being in a bad relationship. I know what it's like to live in argument every fucking day. I know what it's like to see drugs and alcohol fucking take over lives. I know what shit looks like and feels like. It ain't worth it. Mm-mm. And whenever I see these fucking the, the entanglement song and fucking with him and making him look bad... And, and, and him actually doing it like he was all 40. He went on the fucking show. Ugh. Get them people the fuck out of your life, dude. Blowjobs, Bronco, beach. Fishing, hunting, having fun, living your life, spending time with the people that love you. And you have to be, and you also have to love that person back. Yeah. I don't know what happened right there. I got all fired up. It's I'm okay. sweating. It's okay. It was good. Got to make sure. Got to make sure you're doing a good job with your family and your loved ones and the people you want to. And don't be afraid to to to, to be open. You have to be open in relationships. You have to be open to talking about things. You, and you have to be opening to listening, as well. If somebody wants something from you in your relationship, you have to be uh, you have to be open to accepting and and loving that person for who they are, even if they sit or stand when they shit. 
Those are things, too. Yeah. A lot of sitters and a lot of standers. People didn't know those two things. Good bit of them. Yeah, yeah. Both. The sitting community didn't know the standing community exists. Yeah. Where the standing community were well aware of the sitters. sitters. Yeah, I feel almost like a little offended that, uh, or not offended, but um, I, I feel bad that I didn't know they existed. Yeah. I mean, I try. I tr- I tried the sitting thing since l- the podcast. I can't do it. I can't stand. I cannot sit, and I'm not really even like a squat stander. It's like a stand. Really? Yeah. I mean, Emmy's a stander because she can't move. She's tiny. Yeah. Which I understand, kids, but that's probably where it starts as a kid. Yeah, I was a short, portly kid. Yeah. Probably had to stand. I'm not standing. I can't just lift a cheek. I can't just... I can't stand up. It'll be messy. I have way less mess standing. I have way more mess standing. How does this make sense? What's happening? Where's the scientific research? I feel like we won't get an answer until there's scientific research like for everything else. I bet else. scientifically the stand approach is the most efficient approach. There's no way. You There's should no just way. buy a bidet and say, fuck it. You know, I don't know how I'd feel about that. I like it. There's no dry, like, I need to, I can't just do, like, wet and then pull my drawers up. Like, the whole bidet thing. I don't know what would happen. Maybe, I like, a know. towel. I wouldn't want to use, use a towel. Yeah, you would use a towel. Wash it off, then your butthole's clean. Yeah. Use then a towel. A towel. Use, a, use the bidet and then use a towel. Mm-hmm. But, like, there's no, like, soap involved. So like, what's your bidet towel? What do you do with it? Where do you hang it? Right next, next to it. Uh, then I don't know. Then it's a whole new reason for that towel. And then if you use it, I never that, even thought about drying off. I have to dry off. I would like a bidet. I wouldn't want one. I do. You can drink from it and wipe your ass with it. That's <laughs> both worlds. I don't think you can drink from those. <laughs> you can, but do you want to? I wouldn't want to. <laughs> I'd be like, you hey, look could. I'm gonna wash my ass now. It's like, like a water fountain. <laughs> Get out of here. Look at this, guys. You can drink from it and wash your ass. <laughs> Have a fucking house party over and everybody sees you. Look at this bidet. How what about the you? fucking toilet from uh, Why Him? Yeah, it's that whole great. That whole scene. I would definitely fucking buy one of those. For sure. I am a bathroom guy. I like bathrooms. I like bathrooms, too. I love them. Mm-hmm. Doing, you know, ba- kitchens and bathrooms growing up. Seeing a fucking sick bathroom. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Sick bathroom. Spend a lot of time in them. I think uh, I do this with the, uh, everything. I do a lot with it is, is like why you drive your truck, why you drive your vehicles, why you have cars, why you have nice things, why you have the things you do. It's because of how you feel from them. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? For sure. So those are, and that's. In a bathroom, like shower. Han and I are shower people. Yeah. I think everybody's shower people. Yeah. I want a nice shower. I want a nice shower head, and I want like, I know what I want, and I'm gonna work to get it. Yeah. So. Yeah. With you. I think that's how everybody is. Yeah. Except Will Smith. I'm not. I, I can't stop thinking about it right now. He should just start rapping again. He doesn't swear when he raps. He needs to cuss. He needs to cuss more. He does in Bad Boys. He swears. He says fuck there. He did say fuck. So wonder, wonder. Uh, this is so sad. It's tough. I don't like seeing people in bad relationships, like male or female. I don't like seeing people in bad relationships and having a bad time and like being upset and disgusted. It's like that's not what life's supposed to be. Mm-hmm. And I feel like I feel confident in saying these things because I was in both scenarios before. I was in a, I was in a rough relationship yeah. where I wasn't the best person I could be. I wasn't the best person I could be because I was in a bad fucking relationship. When it, and it's it's something that's so hard to get out of. So when you see it, you're like, fuck, dude, this dude's either going to be feeling like this f- way forever mm-hmm. or it's going to take a lot to get him the fuck out. Oh, bro, I yeah. had serious trust issues. I know. Serious. Mm-hmm. Because, and then even whenever I, even with Hannah and I, when in the beginning, like, I even, like, I thought ill of her at times because of the, my previous relationships. And I was like, yeah, I, I don't fucking trust you. And it's like, well... W- there's no reason that she never gave me a reason not to trust her. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, all I did was carry that baggage, my mental baggage over there, and it kind of was fucking with things in the beginning. And I'm like, 
Seth, you need to step, slow your fucking roll here and realize this person isn't like that. This is a good person. This is a different type of person. This is a whole new person. Yeah. They're, not everybody's the same. And then I became, I'm a way different person. Mm -hmm. I'm way different. Kind of. Still really intense, but I, my heart is, I didn't have a heart there for a minute. No, you couldn't, dude. It was ugly. Mm -hmm. But, and that's the same thing with these people, like, you know, in bad relationships. Get the fuck out of them. Like, yeah, people saying these shit, get the fuck out, dude. Fuck off. Tell everybody to fuck off. Go do something great. Go do something fun. Don't sit there and take that shit. <clears throat> he, he did it to himself, though. Man, I wonder if it was, like, something he had to do. Like, he had to do it for himself personally. Like, listen to it. I don't yeah. like that red table talk shit. No, like her like about it. being a strong woman. Bro, you're a fucking whore. That's not what about being a strong woman is. Having strong family values. Like, I, I believe in, I, I think that, I think that today in society, having strong family values is something that is not as, not as strong anymore. Mm -hmm. I believe in strong family values. Being a strong woman, being a strong man. Like Ian, if you do have problems, handling it properly, separating well, doing the best you can for the children because they're the most vulnerable, they're the most innocent, not you as a grown person. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's okay to have a divorce and split up. It is okay. You just have to become a better person for the benefit of who's at stake here. And if there, and that would be kids. If there's no kids at stake, separate. Go your separate ways and enjoy your life. Yeah. You don't got to tell everybody I'm divorced now. No, just go live your different life. Mm -hmm. And if there are children at stake, you and him, you and her, have to get along. Yeah. For the benefit of the kids. Does that mean you have to fucking spend every waking moment together? No, that was the point of the divorce. Yeah. But the kids at stake here, you don't use them against each other or you don't use them against the other person. Well, yeah, and that, that potential of, of finding someone else after the divorce and your kids actually seeing a good, healthy relationship and a healthy marriage. I mean, those things are important. Kids do what they see, not yep. what you say. Yep. It's very important, and those things stay at the forefront of my mind as a parent. Mm -hmm. My kids might have a bad mouth, but I don't really give a fuck about that. Mm -hmm. What I care about is the character, who they, who they become. Mm -hmm. So who, what do they see? They see Hannah and I's relationship. They see me work. They see Hannah work. They see us build things. They see us work. They see us do things for other people. Th that's what they, they, they learn from what they see, not so, from, so much from what they hear. All right, moving on, Shane. Man, that got intense there. Ah, I feel bad All for because of your fun fact, huh? You fucking entanglements with Rick Ross. Was it Rick Ross? Yeah. Hmm. Rick Ross. My bad. I didn't mean it was going to go into bidets and sitters. And yeah, I don't yeah. even know where that went. Just happened. It's all good. All right, question. Could you date a woman of your dreams if she had the same foot size as Shaq? No. No. I'm going to be a shallow, disgusting, ignorant prick. <laughs> Bro, you can't hide those things. My God. I, I <laughs> <laughs> you can't even go out and buy her nice shoes. Oh. Okay, so here, we'll go. Foot. I, I, I jumped the gun there a little bit. Uh, it's still a no, uh, because if they were <coughs> equivalent to her height, she'd be seven foot one. You think I could date a seven foot one woman? I could not pleasure a woman that large. There's no way. She'd have the shallowest vagina from a seven foot one person ever. Mm -mm. Same size laying down. That vagina's huge. <laughs> she'd make my penis look so small with them fucking huge hands. Like Celine Dion hands. Yeah, it'd be rough, man. I'd be like, ah, like, ah, I can't do it. Megan th Fox thumbs. I'm okay with Megan Fox thumbs. I'll still fuck her. Uh, <laughs> no, it was a joke, honey. I would never do such a thing. Ew. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was a joke. Uh, I no, wouldn't. I, I would. couldn't. Mm -mm. Seven foot one woman? No way. Man. It was actually just the foot size. Yeah. Shaq's foot. <sighs> On a normal woman's body. Yeah, so if Hannah had... Hannah with a size, what, what does he wear, like a 17 or a 24? Yeah. <laughs> I think he wears a 17 or an 18. No way, dude. Oh, my God. That would be a... Like you're like, oh, like holding hands, walking around the mall, and it's like, oh, look, what are those? Here, Fuck. I can hear fucking coming. God, that sucks so bad. He wears a 22. Oh. <gasps> No, he doesn't. I swear to God. You're lying. No, I'm not. Oh, my God. What does that look like next to a regular fucking shoe? 
Is Shaq Shaq still married, right? Yeah, I think so. Oh my <sighs> god. Oh sweet Jesus. That's next to an eleven. Oh my god. Eleven's a big shoe. Yeah. Oh man. Bro. Yeah, it's, it's a large look, man. Look at that. His foot is as big as his head. Or no. bigger. I'm gonna go ahead and say no too. Could fit three of my foots in there, lengthwise. Yeah. yeah. Regular look, regular right next to him. It's as wide as his body is. Yeah, that, shoe's, just l- from, that shoe's almost two foot. It's a lot of sneaker. It's almost two. It's foot. a lot of weight, jumping around and playing. Yeah. The, you gotta playing be seven ball. foot one. Yeah. Yeah. That poor yeah. girl. Pro- that poor girl. Proportionally, it's probably just fine for him. Yeah. Proportionately, yeah. That's why I said seven foot one woman. Yeah. I couldn't imagine having. A, could you imagine having sex with somebody that's seven foot one? I wouldn't know how to approach it. I wouldn't know either. Climb it? Maybe. Chop it down. Take her knees out. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Ray Lewis them back of them legs. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Goldberg. Fucking go- <laughs> Fucking spear. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yeah, she'd need a large man. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. All right. All right, James, like moving yeah, on from this a, one. That's a tough one. Let's go. All right, you can only keep one, sex or air conditioning. Which one? Oh, man, sex. 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 Mm-hmm. I don't mind getting a little hot. Makes me uh, thinner. Already am. She's sweating, too. Yeah, I'm cool with it. I can get a shower and put deodorant on. That's true. T- we live in Pennsylvania. It gets cool eventually. Yeah, I tell you what, if, I, if that was my choices, I would move to the beach. That's what I do. Mm-hmm. If you said sex or air conditioning, I'd just up and leave and go to the beach. Mm-hmm. I'd mm-hmm. be like, yep, I'm gone. I'm going to move to a place that's tropical. And it's okay to sweat because I could jump in the pool, jump in the ocean. I would change everything about my life. Mm-hmm. Or not and just sweat here. <laughs> I'm not taking sex out of my life. No. I didn't think so, but. There's no way. I feel like, like this a- is. Everything in my life revolves around sex i think a lot of people figure that out about us yeah you know what i don't know if uh these questions seem very fucking stupid like oh would you rather be blind or dickless blind would you rather have sex or air conditioning sex do you think that that's how uh, a lot of this younger generation thinks these early 20 kids like they like video games and jerking off and porn and air conditioning whenever i'm just a heathen and I'll have wild, crazy, fucking sweaty outdoor sex pretty much any time because I like it. it. makes me feel good. Yeah. I don't know if people have those same thoughts. Like, I work on certain parts of my life to make the sex better. Better, yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah, pretty I mean, much that's everything. That's why I'm big on cardio. If that's I get in I better shape, better sex. Yeah, you're not on top of her breathing all heavy, all fat and shit. You're like, I can fuck you forever mm-hmm. until you squeeze my pecker with your vagina and, and you got me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I don't know. No, I mean... Is that a generational thing or just a... I don't know. Because I, like, I feel like these questions are for the internet. They're internet-based. And a lot of youngers look at that and I'm like, man, I just... I just, mm-mm. I think it's a skewed answer depending on the generation, for sure. Yeah. I'm throwing down. Yep. Did this morning. Me not too. I still got to get we still gotta get the okay from the doctors. Yeah, that's just Hannah a... Hannah was like, she's like, I'm okay, by the way. I'm like, what do you mean? She's like, my insides are good. We're good. And I'm like, so I'd like a doctor's opinion before I just get up all in there. Because mm-hmm. the second that I go in, I'm kind of not going to come back out. Nope, not for nope. a few years. <laughs> 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 oh, shit. All right, next one, Shane. All right, last one. Let's go. Would you rather... Be fed like a baby bird for the rest of your life or be gay once? <laughs> <laughs> now, that's a question. Yeah, this one's that's funny. a good one. <laughs> this is easy. <laughs> <laughs> um, Can I pick the one time? <laughs> no, no, hold on, hold on. I got questions here. If I'm gay one time, is it? am I being gay with somebody who also is being gay for one time? 
Sure. Because then it'll never be talked about. Yeah. So we're being gay together, Bob. I think that's a bad move. I think that is a bad move. I think you would want to be with a full gay. Oh. Because then... Full gay, not a fake gay. Full... Yep. Yep. Look at you guys thinking. Because it's going to fuck with us even more. Yeah. Auto ruin. No, you're going to want someone with some experience. Treat you right. Yeah. Really comfortable with it. Uh Uh-huh. Make you feel special for a moment. That they know. They're like, hey, man... I know you're not going to like this, and you don't want to be fed like a baby bird the rest of your life. Yeah. I'm going to take care of you. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not pecking at seed or that regurgitating shit that the bird does to the baby I birds. I can't do that. No. I like, I like tacos way too much. I like steak. Yeah. Unchewed. Mm, unchewed, yeah. Uh-huh. Gay once. <laughs> I'm doing gays one, one time. And not just anything. And they better be nice to me. <laughs> They better not make fun of me or anything. My woman makes me feel super special they here. They better fucking take me out to dinner. That's all I have to say. A couple drinks. You better wine and dine me. I'm not giving it up easy. Uh-uh. You're not putting anything back there. I can tell you that right now. Oh my God. I'm, I'm giving. I'm not, I'm not taking it. I no. can't do that. Good point, Bob. I'm glad you thought this through for everybody. Because I'm thinking, I'm like, I'm like, I could never look at you the same. I wouldn't know. Uh-uh. Where, like, this guy who's very nice and gentle and... He, he, knows, he knows the ropes. Yep. He's going to make this easy on me. And then, like, if I was great, he's going to tell all of his buddies about it. And then oh, I this look... One, this one time, the straight guy, he was great. <laughs> then they're all going to want the straight guy. Or at least go, go get another guy that has the I'm, question or the dilemma of being fed like a bird. Or being a gay once. I'm okay with being checked out by gay men. I'm totally cool with it. It is a compliment. Flattering. Yeah. I feel yeah. like maybe more men check me out than women. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's definitely for sure for me that I've learned. <laughs> I'm one drop-dead sexy motherfucker to guys and not so much women. Women are like, so can you wipe your ass? <laughs> God damn it. And this dude's like, bro, you're fucking jacked. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah i feel i definitely i've definitely seen way more dicks in my dms than tits or ass yeah for sure Mm -hmm. yeah 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 i have way more like fucking 20 to (laughs) 1 wow maybe more big ratio large ratio difference Uh yeah fuck dude god how that works huh man Great good time. Great. <laughs> good question, Shane. I'm Shane, glad. Shane, really it, good job that's, today. That's, that's one to end it on for everybody at home and asking everybody, would you rather be fed like a bird once? Read it again for everybody. You want to be fed like a bird for the rest of your life or be gay once? Mm. I'm trying to get more fucked up with these questions. That was a pretty good one. Yeah. yeah, that was good. Yeah. When it comes to air conditioning and sex, fucking thing hasn't worked here all week anyway. I live on a farm. We don't have central air. <laughs> Everything's just fine. We live in a 200-year-old farmhouse. <laughs> yep. Remodeled farmhouse. So I'm good. Mm-hmm. Well, all right, everybody. I appreciate you guys listening today. Make sure that you're sharing the shit out of this podcast and also enjoying your life to the fullest, working hard, loving your life, and doing the great things for you and your family in it. Without further ado, you all have yourselves a beautiful motherfucking day. Bye-bye.